Hey, everybody. Hey. Good to see you all back on our channel. We have some big news today. Today is the best day ever. It's Mikey and me's birthday today. Yay. Yay. Mikey, what do you think our parents have in store for us? Maybe a lot of gifts? Yes, I'm sure they will give me lots of gifts. Wow, I'm going to have a lot of gifts then, too. It's a birthday. I wish I had lots of presents, more than you. But Mikey. Let's go to breakfast. It's probably ready by now. Mikey, wait. It's not just your birthday. It's my birthday, too. Oh, hmm. Which means we have to have the same number of gifts. So you're saying you'll have as many gifts as I do? Of course you and I are on an equal footing. That's not going to happen, JJ. Uh, I'll have 100% more gifts. Our parents love me more than they love you. Come on, Mikey. Well... Come on, let's go to breakfast. Yes, I agree. I'm a bit tired of arguing about this topic and very hungry. Let's go. There's no point in arguing because I'm just as loved as you are. Mom, good morning. Good morning. Wow, our birthday boys are awake. But darling... Of course it's not your birthday today. But we thought we'd treat you now anyway. We're all going to the toy store together tomorrow. This is going to be fun. We'll get you both all the toys you want. Cool. Oh. Now it's time for breakfast. Yeah, I'm hungry. Are we going to have cake? Yes. There will be cake, but tomorrow... Yay! I made the best breakfast ever for you. Let's go eat. I'm so hungry. Wow, Mom. The table is full of food. Thank you. You're welcome. It's all for the both of you, so enjoy. Yes, bon appetit. Oh, Mom, that's just beautiful. Your mom spent hours cooking. Wow, good for Mom. I'm already looking forward to tomorrow. Hmm. My time has come. He he he. JJ has no idea what I'm up to. JJ argued with me that he would have just as many gifts, but that's not going to happen. Today, I'm going to make sure you don't have any gifts at all. You can sleep well tonight, all right. But this is your last good night, brother. Because I have one thing that will help me change everything. Whoa ha ha. Now we'll see who won and who lost. Come on, Jean. Come out of your lamp and make my wishes come true. Uh, I think I saw a guy do that in a cartoon. Hmm, rub the lamp with your hand and Jin will come out. Come on, I need all your magic power. So where's my score? Where's my Jean? <laughs> ah, my dear little friend, you got me out of the lamp, so I will fulfill your three wishes. Wow, I was beginning to think it wasn't all true. Nice. Jean, listen to my first wish. Mm, I'm listening. I wish I got more presents than my brother JJ. Mm, okay, what else would you like? And I want to be loved a lot more than JJ. Lately he keeps saying we are loved equally. Hmm. Oh, well... Uh, you have one last wish left, so think twice before you make it. Hmm. Okay, I'll think about it. This should be something that's good for you. Oh, right. I want my own room. Oh, my God. I want this whole room to be just mine. And let JJ live in the pantry. All right, little boy. I'll fulfill your wishes. Tomorrow you'll have another life waiting for you. Hmm. Ooh. Um, I thought he was going to do it all at once, but come on. If it's the way I want it tomorrow, that's even better. I'm already interested to see JJ's reaction tomorrow. I think he's going to be so jealous. After all, tomorrow is the best holiday for me, and the worst holiday for him! Ah, <coughs> <laughs> uh, I slept so well tonight. Uh, where am I? Wait, wait, this isn't my room. Why am I here? Is this some kind of joke? I'm in our closet, but why? I remember falling asleep in my room. Can't parents make a joke like that? But it's my birthday, right? Uh, where's my bed anyway? And why does everything look like Mikey's room? Oh my god, this is all very strange. I'll have to ask mom and dad what's going on here. Wow, they're almost all set for the party. Just a couple more details. Mom, why did I wake up in the closet? Oh, what's that? Is this some kind of joke? I woke up in the pantry and my bed wasn't in the room. The sun's room. not fully up and our sleigh You have no right to sleep with our favorite Go son. finish cooking Mikey's cake. Wait, what? This cake right here. See? Uh... This is your only assignment for today, so don't mess it up. But mom, it's my birthday too. Oh, hmm. Oh, who's awake? Uh... Where are my presents? Oh, my favorite. I didn't sleep very well, hmm. so I hope you prepared a lot of presents for me. Sure, here are your gifts. Look over there. Uh, oh my god! Uh, this is kind of weird. What do you mean? How many presents are there? There are exactly 36 gifts here just for our favorite son, Mikey. What? I mean, 36. Hmm. Last year, you got me 37 presents. Huh, what? How can you explain that, huh? Uh, oh, Mikey, we're all going to go to the store together right now and buy you another gift. Isn't that too many gifts for him alone? Only for you. All right, I agree. Wait, what's this all about? Have you figured out what you want to buy yet? I want a $1,000 toy car. Cool, let's go to the store. Wait, what about me? Don't even think about coming with us. Dad. You belong here. Finish cooking the cake and clean the house. But I want to go. Are you stupid? Mikey. You can't come with us. Why? You have no right to even talk to me. Stop. Go make me a delicious cake. Clean the whole house and then go to your pantry. Oh. Did I say that right, Mom and Dad? Yes, you did the right thing. Well then, shall we go to the store? Yeah, let's go. I don't understand. What did I do? JJ, stop following us. Hmm. You heard everything you need to do. But Mom. We'll be there soon, so finish cooking the cake. Get the house sparkling clean. Come on, JJ. Uh, okay. It's so strange and incomprehensible. 
Why our parents' attitude towards me has changed so drastically. It's all very strange. I'll spit in the middle of the cake to show my displeasure. Three hours later. Hello again, friends. I've been here for the last hour finishing this cake. I've never made a cake before. I put a bunch of pepper and salt in it. I think it's going to be good. Of course, I'm not going to eat it. I don't understand why I didn't get a single gift. And Mikey was given such a mountain of gifts. It's not fair. Oh, they're here already. Thank you for the 37th gift. Now I'm satisfied. Anything for you, Mikey. Now you can eat your birthday cake. Yeah, it's ready. You can try it. I'm sure it's delicious. Yeah, JJ did his best here. At least you can do something silly. I can do a lot of things. Let's get to the cake. Mikey, take a bite. Okay, okay, we're tasting it now. What's this? I wanted a cherry cake, and this cake has some kind of pepper, and it stinks. It doesn't stink. I don't know. It looks like a normal cake. No, that's not okay. JJ screwed it up again. This cake is terrible. But I tried. It's a good cake. No, you ruined the cake. No one's gonna eat it. You must be punished. Go to the closet and stay there for the rest of my birthday. Mom, am I right? JJ must be punished. Yeah, Mikey's right. JJ, you're grounded. Get in the closet and stay in there. You ruined Mikey's birthday party. What? Mom, are you serious? We don't like you. Get out of here. Go away. We don't love you, JJ. You're the worst son in the world. Okay, whatever you say, it's a shame, you know. Go away. You've ruined my favorite son's party. Go away. We don't love you. You're disgusting. Your cake stinks and you stink too. Go away already. I don't want to look at you. All right, I hope you all choke on this cake. It was all so good yesterday. Oh, what is that? That thing looks like a gin lamp. And why is that lamp by Mikey's bed? I don't believe in magic, but my parents have been acting really weird lately. I should take that lamp back to my closet. Maybe I can take it all back so my parents will love me again. Guys, if you had a genie lamp, what three wishes would you ask for? Write about it in the comments. And I need to take this lamp to my place so Mikey or my parents don't see me. I'm gonna get punished again. Okay, I read a story that you have to rub a lamp three times to make it work. A genie will come out of there and he'll help me. Okay, let's get started. One, two, three. So where's that gin? I'm coming out now. You don't have to hit the lamp so hard. What kind of habit do you all have? Oh my god, a real gin? Yeah, I'm a real gin, and I will grant you three wishes. That's awesome. Okay, my first wish is that I want Mikey and I to split gifts. Gifts? Okay, you'll get an equal number of gifts. It's done. Oh, already? Okay, cool. For my second wish, I want my parents to love us equally as much. Doesn't it feel good to be unloved? I understand. You got it. Now tell me your third last wish. Hmm, let me think about it. Third wish. I want to share a room with Mikey again. Do you still want to live with him after everything he's done? Okay, all your wishes are spent, and now it's bye-bye forever. I can't believe all the wishes have been granted, but I'll hope for the best. Hopefully our parents will love me again and Mikey's wishes will stop working. The next morning. Ooh, it's so good to sleep in this room on my own bed again. It looks like Mikey is still asleep and hasn't noticed me. I'll have to wake him up and make him happy that we are now living like we used to. Okay, Mikey, wake up. Good morning, my dear brother. Oh, uh, what? Who's waking me up, JJ? Why are you in this room? And now we can. This is the common room. What? Are you out of your mind? Go sleep in your closet. This is my room. The closet? No, I don't sleep there anymore. I'm sleeping next to you in that bed over there now. But you can't sleep here. Your parents have forbidden you to be here. You belong in the closet. I'm going to tell them. Go ahead, try it. So I'll go and tell them. You'll be punished again. Go and tell them. I'm never sleeping in the closet again. What makes you think they won't beat you up? They banned you in front of me yesterday. What's going on? You left the gin lamp by your bed. Mom, Dad, JJ's disobeying you again. He slept in my room tonight. Punish him. Sleeping in your room? What's the big deal? But you said he should sleep in the closet. What? We didn't say anything like that. You and JJ share a room. You two sleep there together. What's the problem? I don't want to share a room with him. Tell him to sleep in the closet. What? In the closet? Are you crazy? It's not going to happen. No, Mikey, it's your brother. Apologize to him right now. Okay, JJ, please forgive me for wanting to move you into the closet. I'm sorry for what I did. I won't do it again. Okay, Mikey, I forgive you. You're my brother. I love you. That's it. From now on, live peacefully. Okay, Mom, we're not gonna fight anymore. That's great. It's so good to see you two being friendly again. Yeah, you're both good. We love you equally, children. Don't think we have a favorite. You got us? Yes, of course. We love you guys so much, too. I love you, too. Oh, that's great. And my dad and I have to go to the store. I hope you don't get into any more trouble while we're gone. Okay, we'll try not to screw it up. Bye-bye, Mom. Bye-bye, Dad. Goodbye. Get some burgers. Bye. Okay, we'll get burgers. Cool. I'm getting burgers. They love me more. Bye, JJ. Bye, Mikey. We love you both. Did you hear that? They love us both. I think you imagined it. JJ, let's open our birthday presents. There's an equal split between you and me. Oh, that's awesome. Let's open them. But you have 18 gifts, and I have 19, so I'm really loved more. Oh, Mikey, one gift doesn't count. It counts, but you better forget about it. Let's watch cartoons. Oh, cartoons. That's a great idea, Mikey. I love cartoons. Patrick and SpongeBob are so funny and friendly, just like you and me, Mikey. Yes, I agree. You're like... And then you...
you stuck me in a cage over a lake of lava. It wasn't very cool. You're kidding. I couldn't do that. Hey, guys. Good to see you all back on our channel again. Mikey and I have been watching cartoons for 15 hours. Mikey, aren't you tired of watching cartoons for so long? Yeah, JJ, I could watch them forever. Why don't we change the TV to another channel? That's a great idea. Maybe there will be other cartoons instead of SpongeBob. Oh, it's not a cartoon. It's a show in the woods. JJ, let's see. We've never seen anything but cartoons. Okay, but then we'll look for normal cartoons. All right. Hey, everybody. This is the Bear Grylls Show. Today, we'll be surviving in a boreal pine forest. And today, I'm going to teach you everything. Will I survive in the woods or not? We'll find out at the end of the episode. The first thing you do in the woods is light a fire. Fire will keep you warm, boil water, and scare away the animals around you. You can light the fire with a lighter or matches. It's not that hard to do. Ta-da! The bonfire is ready. If you know how to start a fire, you become the coolest survivor in the woods. You can be proud of yourself. A bonfire will always help you. Every home should have its own fire. Don't you have your own fire yet? So what are you waiting for? Mikey, we need our own fire. I want to be as cool as this Bear Grylls. Yeah, he's really cool. You need a fire like this in the woods. So we're going to make a bonfire? Yeah, let's do it. We don't want to go to the woods. We can make it at home. Yes, we survive in the city. Just a little fire. Everyone survives in the woods. And we'll be urban survivors. Okay, let's go build our fire. Do you have matches for the fire? No matches, but I have a lighter. Wow, that's awesome. Where are you going to make the fire? You're not going to burn down our house, are you? What's the big deal? We'll have time to put it out. I think it's a good idea. This is a bad idea, Mikey. Oops, it's late. There's our bonfire, just like you wanted, JJ. No, I didn't mean it like that. Put it out. Our parents will scold us. JJ, we're surviving in our house. Surviving what? We're going to burn. Put out the fire quickly. Oh my God, what's going on? What do I do? Moments later. Mikey, you idiot. Why did you burn down our house? We could have had a bonfire in our yard and nothing would have burned. It was your idea. No, it wasn't my idea. I didn't want to burn down our house. We couldn't survive in an urban environment. What's survival got to do with it? Our parents would kill us for all this. Yeah, mom and dad wouldn't be happy to see their house on fire. Are you just now starting to think about the consequences? Are you out of your mind, Mikey? Well, I'm sorry about all that. I set that fire without thinking. I'm so sorry. What am I going to tell my mom now? Mikey, calm down. They'll punish me very badly. Where are we going to live now? I'm scared, JJ. We'll have to confess to our parents that it was just the two of us. Oh, our parents are already here. Oh my God, what are we going to tell them? Kids, what happened to our house? Why is the house on fire? What happened? Who set it on fire? Don't swear, we'll explain everything to you. Care to explain? Did you both do it? I'm very angry. It's all JJ. He set the house on fire. He saw a survival show in the woods and wanted to make a fire. What? How could you do that, JJ? You're so dumb, JJ. You can't play with fire indoors. I didn't do it. It was Mikey. He's putting the blame on his brother. It's horrible. JJ, I don't want to see you around here again. Yeah, get out of here now. Get out of here, JJ. You ruined our house. You can't even admit it. I'm sorry. I didn't do this. Mikey, you're going to have your own room now. You'll live without your brother. And he'll be living on the street. He's so stupid. We hate him so much. Why is it always such a problem with me? I didn't do anything, did I? Did they take Mikey's word for it? I'm so hurt. Are you still here? Get out of here. I don't want to see you. Get out before you set something else on fire. But I didn't set the house on fire, Mikey did. That's not fair. What am I supposed to do now? My family disowned me. I'm alone on the street again. Is there no one to help me? Oh my god. Maybe in the dump I can make my own house. Friends, please support me with likes under this video. It'll make me feel so much better. Four to six days later. Oh my god. Sleeping in this stinking tent is so uncomfortable. It's so cold and dirty in here. Friends, I hope you're not playing with fire. It's not a toy. Write about it in the comments. Living in a dumpster isn't easy. I'm running out of food and the rats around me scare me. Oh, the parents are out there with Mikey. Where are they going? They look so happy. I see a box in my mom's hands. What? Is it a gift? A present for Mikey? He burned down your house and you're giving him presents? When I eat off the garbage cans, he gets gifts and kisses and love. It makes me sad to see that. Thank you for the gift. I love you both very much. And they hardly ever gave me gifts even before the fire. Do you guys like presents? What kind of gifts would you like to receive? At least I have my viewers. It's the most valuable thing I have. But I'd like to go back to my family. I wonder what they're going to do now. Mikey, let's get you on the swing. It's so much fun to play with our favorite son. Yeah, Mikey. Get on the swing and I'll swing you. It'll be fun. Okay, I'd love to. Oh, that's great. Mom, Dad, I love you. I feel so good with you guys. Apparently, they don't even miss me. I'm even jealous of that green TV. So I was really redundant in the family. All right, then. If they don't need me, I don't need them. If they don't love me, then so be it. I've got better things to do. I'm out of food. I need to start begging people for money or food. Otherwise, I'm starving. Everyone needs food, not some stupid bonfire. I hope this box will help me. At least that's what I've seen in the movies. Now we just have to wait. Two hours later. Guys, Guys, I have some very bad news. Nobody let me eat. My stomach's rumbling a lot. He wants to eat too. And it's getting evening. There will be fewer and fewer passers-by on the street. Looks like I'm going to be without food tonight. Oh, is that
that mom coming? Maybe she'll have food. You, is that you, JJ? You live in a dumpster? You stink. You're disgusting. How could you set fire to your own house? You're so stupid. I didn't set the house on fire. You're the one who stinks, not me. Is this your trash? Is there food in there? Just dirty leftovers from the table. You're awful. I hate you. I hate to see you outside our house. If you set fire to anything again, I'm calling the police. I didn't set fire to anything. You stupid woman. You're all stupid. Stupid family. I hate you all too. And now we're going to have a nutritious dinner from what's left at their house. That's how you survive in the city. Thank you for that at least. It's so nice to sit in front of a computer all day. You don't have to share it with any brother. I'll be installing all the games now, but I wonder how JJ is doing. My mom said he was living in a dumpster. I miss him a little bit already. Still, it was fun to play together. Besides, he's my brother. He's not responsible for the arson, but he's the one who got beat up. It's my fault he's living in a dumpster right now. It's always my fault, and he's trying to save me and understand me. I should check on him. Oh my god, he looks so lonely and pathetic and sullen. I have to help him. Why didn't I help him beforehand when I put all the blame on him? I'm so stupid. Hey, somebody get some food. I'm really hungry. If I bring him home, my parents will beat me up too. There's no way they want him back in the family. But I have to do something. It's already nighttime outside, and it can be chilly at this time. He could get sick out here. I need to hurry up. Oh, hello again, everyone. I have good news. I learned how to catch rats and eat them alive. It doesn't taste good, but I won't go hungry. This note hasn't helped me once yet. JJ, please forgive me for lying to my parents. I'm so embarrassed. I'm the reason you're here asking passersby for help. Thanks for the apology, Mikey. But you can't put them on bread. It's not going to solve my problems. It's really hard to find food in a dumpster, but I'm surviving. It's just like that TV show. No, no, JJ. It's not right. You don't have to live in a dumpster. You're my brother. Come home. I'll feed you and keep you warm. Mikey, are you crazy? My parents kicked me out on the street. They won't let me live in their house again. That's too bad, but I can sneak you in unnoticed. Secretly. While they're busy, we'll go to the second floor and I'll put you in the pantry. They don't go in there at all. In the pantry, you say? Hey, that's a good idea. I'll take it. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go. Just be very quiet. They can't see you. Otherwise, they'll kick me out too. Okay, okay. We're like two ninjas. I'm the stealthy one. Going on a secret mission at night. This is so cool. I love ninja cartoons. Remember when we used to watch them all day long? It was fun. Mikey, don't get distracted. We have an important mission. Okay, okay, okay. You just keep your head down so you make less noise with your shoes. Anyway, I'm telling my boss he's a complete idiot. Don't make a sound, JJ. And then I got demoted. It's a shame. Oh, darling, that's all right. You didn't have to say it to his face. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Now I have a smaller salary and we'll be poorer. JJ, get up here quick before they see you. Okay, I'm going up. They didn't seem to see me. All right, uh-huh. Go upstairs and sit in the pantry and I'll come and see you soon. Well, they didn't seem to see us. Hey, Mikey, what are you doing home so late? Are you okay? Oh, man. Looks like we got a problem. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. I'm good. I just wasn't looking at my watch. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, don't stay out late like that again. Okay, Mom, I won't go out like this again. All right, son. You can go to your room, brush your teeth, and go to bed. Okay, Dad, whatever you say. Good night, love you. Good night, Mikey. Woo, I think I'm fine. They didn't suspect a thing. I got them talking. Mikey, that was close. They almost saw us. Yeah, but they didn't notice. That's cool. And here's your closet. This is where you're gonna sleep and hide from your parents. Well, well, it's certainly not my spacious room, but it'll do. Thank you, Mikey. You're welcome, JJ. You're my brother. Again, I'm sorry I messed you up with your parents. Mikey, I forgave you a long time ago. It's okay. Good night to you. You're the reason I won't be sleeping in a garbage can with rats in my arms. Good night, JJ. Sweet dreams to you. Good night, Mikey. Well, things just keep getting better and better. Friends, outdoor survival is smoothly transitioning into pantry survival. My TV show is cooler. The next day. Oh, this is so good. Sleeping on a warm bed in a cozy house. That's what happiness is all about. Of course I was nicer in my room, but thanks for that. Now I gotta wake up, Mikey. Hey, Mikey, wake up. Anyway, I tell him at school, get out of here, hurry up, get away. And the teacher ran out of class in fear. Wow, Mikey. You're a brave kid, you're just like me. Oh my God, I almost got caught. I shouldn't let my parents see me. Honey, did you hear the sound from the pantry? Yes, I heard everything perfectly. What's going on in there? Uh Maybe it's the mice in there screaming. Let's not open it. Mice, we need to see. Oh my god, JJ, what are you doing here? We told you not to be here. Get out of here, now. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go now. We hate you so much. Are you gonna set the place on fire again? Get out now. Stop, that's your son. Don't kick him out. It's not his fault. Whose fault is that? Yeah, Mikey, you're the one who said it was JJ who set the house on fire. It's his fault. Yeah, that's what I said. And I lied. I set the house on fire so you wouldn't scold me. I didn't want to end up in a dumpster like JJ. Oh my god, did Mikey do it? Oh, okay. We forgive you then. JJ, you can live here again. Yes, we forgive you. You can sleep on your bed and in your room again. 
Do you forgive me? I'm the one who should forgive you. You should be on your knees apologizing to me. Well, we're sorry we kicked you out on the street. Are you happy? Now don't yell at your mother. You're still our son. Okay, mind your own business. We don't care if he lives here or not. It's good to have a full family again. I don't care at all, you know? Okay, thank you for welcoming me into your home. I hope we don't fight again. Yeah, thanks for not scolding me. Yeah, I love you, Mikey. It's a good thing I didn't get punished at all. And you can live with me again. Everything worked out perfectly. How come you didn't get punished and I got kicked out of the house? I'm just the favorite kid in the family. But most importantly, I love you like a brother. Now we have a shared computer in our room again. JJ, I'll always help you out in tough situations. No matter what happens, I'll be on your side. Oh, Mikey, I really appreciate it. Thank you for everything. You're the best brother ever. Oh, JJ, you're the best brother I've ever had, too. I will definitely win this time. You can dream, Mikey. Don't you dare relax, JJ. Ha, okay. Hi, everyone. Hey. Good to see you all on our channel. Right now, I'm playing with Mikey. Well. And by the way, Mikey is losing to me, huh? Who else is losing to who? Huh, what? I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, if that's the case, I'll teach you a little lesson. Hee hee hee. You've gotten more serious, JJ. Of course I've gotten serious. Ooh. You're playing relaxed, so I want you to get a little more serious. Hmm. Yay, victory is mine. Oh, JJ, I'll never beat you. Uh, You're too good at this game. Hmm. I'll never achieve the same skill. Mikey, you try harder every time, so your skills are growing. Hmm. Let's play one more round. All right, let's play some more. Yay. Maybe I'll win this time. Oh, no, no, no. I won't give you the victory so easily. Wow. You'll have to try harder. I'll win 100%. Oh, what a marvelous day today. Wow, there's a whole field of flowers. I'm going to pick them all up and make myself an iced tea. And then I'll pick sugar cane, and then the tea will be even more delicious. Yay, can't wait already. I'm so hungry and thirsty. Food and water. Yay, yay, yay. Ah, that hurts. <laughs> I hit my leg really hard. Oh, Mikey, I've only got a couple more punches to throw at you before I'm a total winner. Stop. Come on, push it. This is it. My victory. Yay. Hmm. Oh, Mikey, I'm sorry. Well, uh, I guess I'm not going to be a master at this game. Uh, but Mikey. No, but. Oh. I'm tired of losing, JJ. You need to try harder. Let's do something else, please. Hmm. Uh, like, uh, let's go for a walk in the park. Oh, yeah, I agree. Let's take a walk in the park. A walk in the woods is the perfect stress reliever. Yeah. Well, I won't be needing this anymore. Oh, look at the wonderful weather today. Oh, yeah, the weather is surprisingly beautiful today. I can already feel that fresh breeze in my relaxation. Oh, wow. What park are we going to? We're going to the nearest park. Cool. I'm in the mood for a walk, hmm. but I don't want to go too far. Yes, we still have things to do at home. We still have to eat, then sleep, then play, then eat again. Oh, my God. Oh, there's so much to do. Yeah, Mikey, whatever else you can do. Ah, uh, JJ, let's enjoy this moment without worry or annoyance. Uh, okay. In fact, I think all people should go for walks more often. Why do you think that? Oh, have you seen them? What are you talking about? They're covered in mold and grease and they're happy. It's horrible. Oh my god, Mikey, they're human beings. Let them live their lives as they please. Two hours later. Lava, lava, la, 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 la. I love you, la, 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 la. Is that your new song? Oh, the freshness of nature makes me sing. Oh, right. I get inspiration in my head in nature, too. Let's go for another little walk. Yeah, come on. Okay, let's go. We'll walk around and think about beautiful things like cars. <laughs> JJ, I thought I heard someone crying. Mikey, I heard something too. Hmm, okay, well, it must have just seemed like it. Yes, maybe. Let's keep walking. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey, right now I could clearly hear someone crying. Where's the sound coming from? Oh. <laughs> Mikey, let's go see what's going on. Okay, JJ, but if I get eaten, it's your fault. Hmm. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm gonna get eaten. Oh my god! Girl, are you okay? No. Mikey, we gotta help her out of this hole. I'd love to, but I don't understand why she can't get out of there on her own. She's so small. I hit my leg really hard. Oh, now that's a different conversation. Oh! I'll help you. Mikey, be careful with her in case her leg is broken. It's gonna be okay. Ow! Wow, she's so light, JJ. Really? She's really light as a feather. That's not normal. I'm just hungry. Uh, uh, wait. How long ago did you the last time I ate yesterday, it was apples in the woods. My God, Mikey, try putting her on the ground. Don't you have any more pain? No, just my tummy hurts. Oh, uh, what's your name? My name is Afmal. I'm very hungry and thirsty. Uh, Do you have any food for me? Nice to meet you. Yay. Uh, yeah, we can feed you, but where's your family? I don't have a family. Oh. I was picking flowers and I fell in there. Wow. And if it wasn't for you, I'd be in that hole forever. Wow, that is so sad. Uh, I made a pee-pee. JJ's gonna change your diaper. Wait, I don't want to do this. It's settled. We'll take you home with us. Uh, yeah, don't worry. You'll be living with us. Yay, a new family. Yay. I hope to make friends with you. What do I call you guys? My name is Mikey, and that guy with the angry red sweatshirt is named JJ. Nice. Hey, my sweatshirt is not angry. Hee-hee-hee. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, let's all go home together. Okay, let's go. Come with us. JJ, if she hasn't eaten in so long, she must be tired. Hey, Afmal, can you walk by yourself? If you're really tired, we'll
will carry you. I can make it. It's okay. Well, uh, okay. Don't be shy. We're good guys. Yes, you are very kind. I like you. Oh my god. JJ, do you even believe this is happening? Apparently, we have a new family member now. Awesome. Yay! And there's our house. Yes, Afmao. Don't worry. We have plenty of food. We'll feed you now. I'm so hungry. I am Ampha. Yeah, yeah. We already realized that. What do you have to eat? I'm very hungry. We mostly have burgers, fries, and other fats food. There's baby food in a bottle for you, too, though. Come in, Ampha. Welcome to our home. Oh, you guys are so nice. You're very cute, too. Ampha, you can make yourself at home here. Oh, thank you, Mikey. There's a nursery just for you. Now let's go into the kitchen. That's where we keep all the food. Yeah, Mikey. Turns out you're so hospitable. I didn't know that. Of course, I'm always happy to have visitors, especially this little girl. Mikey, I think you'd be a great dad. Daddy, can I call you Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Let me call you Daddy. Daddy, I'm hungry. Okay, okay, let's find you something. Sit on the table while we figure out what to get you to eat. I'm Ampha, I'm hungry. Can I have some burgers too? Nah, you can't eat burgers yet. Burgers will give you a tummy ache. But I'm hungry. Burgers, pizza, vegetables, salads, whatever. Give me something to eat, please. How long has she been in the woods since she keeps talking about food? Or maybe she's just a little kid and learned the basic words. I think it's the second one. Okay, we have bottled milk in the fridge. Just what we need for a little baby. I put a nipple with a hole in it. I think it'll make it easier for her to drink something. She's just a little girl. Here, drink this. Be careful not to swallow the pacifier. Do you think she can? Oh my god, she ate the bottle with the pacifier. Never mind though. JJ, I smell something. Oh no, Mikey, we have a problem. She pooped. Oh, she needs to change her diaper. It smells awful. <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. Oh my god, we don't have diapers at home. We have to order them by courier right away. Is she just gonna sit there with dirty pants? Yeah, JJ, she doesn't care. You run and order diapers over the phone. Okay, I'll call the delivery service right now. One, two, three. Hello, is this a delivery? Yeah, it's a delivery. Hello? We need diapers. JJ, we need a lot of diapers. Tell that to the delivery guy. Okay, lots of diapers. Okay. All right, we're waiting. They'll be here soon, don't worry. I've forgotten what it's like to walk around with pooped pants. I'm not a little kid anymore, but I think it's pretty gross and unpleasant. Pants full of poop. That's awful. Yeah, Mikey. It's not very pleasant, but it's warm. Haha. <laughs> That's not funny, JJ. Where's the courier already? What's taking them so long? Oh, I think the courier's here. How fast they come. Just in time. Okay, you guys stay here and I'll go get the diapers. Okay, okay, okay. Like, we're going anywhere. Go get the diapers already. Yeah, yeah, you guys have a good time. I've never ordered a diaper in my life. I hope they realize it's not ordered for me. I don't poop my pants. Hello, you ordered a lot of diapers. This is the biggest pack. Oh, you're just in time. Here are your diapers. Next time, don't poop in your pants. I didn't poop my pants. A baby did. Oh my god. Here's your money and thanks for the diapers. I'm an adult and I don't do that. Ha ha. Pooped his pants and denies it. Thanks for ordering. Diapers will help you out. Yeah, get out of here already. Goodbye. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, yeah, bye. I hope I don't see you again. Mikey, Mikey, I have diapers. We need to change her poopy diapers for new ones right away. Yeah, yeah, we should change it. Come on, JJ, do it. No, 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 no. I ordered shipping and paid for them with my own money. Is it hard for you. Change it, please. You change the diapers. Come on, Mikey. I did my part. You. I don't want to do that. There's a lot of poop in there. Go ahead and do it. I won't do it. I ordered and paid for it. You're changing it. Please, JJ. I'm going to be sick if I have to change them. I don't care. Do it, Mikey. You got to do it. Next time, I'll change it, but this time, it'll be you. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. I'm not doing it, period. I will never touch poop in my life. It's your responsibility. Is it my responsibility? It's our shared responsibility, but you'll do it first. You're so weak. You can't even change a diaper. Change it. Am I weak? You're the one who just said you'd throw up. Come on. She called you daddy. Then you're the one she's looking to you to take care of. Oh my god, you're right though. I'm the daddy here, and I'm changing diapers. She needs it more, and if JJ's disgusted, he's a bad parent. What are you talking about? I can change them too. No, I will do it. Afmao, please lie down on your tummy. I'll change your diaper. Okay, slowly remove the dirty diaper, wipe off all the poop, and put on a new diaper. Mikey, you're doing pretty good. It's like you were born to do this. Ta-da, it's done. What a master I am. Yeah, Mikey, you're really cool. Yeah, JJ, I know that. Oh, thanks, Mikey. I feel so much better. You're welcome, Ampha. It's no trouble at all. It's so nice. Nice to walk around in clean pants again. No poop. Whoa, it's late. It's not kid time. Afmao, it's bedtime. JJ, look at the clock. It's 10 p.m. You're right, Mikey. It got dark really fast. Very quickly. Amphal, it's time for you to go to bed. We have a children's room on the second floor. That's where you'll sleep tonight. The baby's room. Yes, your baby's room. Oh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to have my own private room and my own bed. That's just great. Thank you. What a nice way you respond to everything. Come on. We'll show you your room. JJ usually sleeps there, but I think he'll give you a spot. I think so. He'll give me the bed. JJ, will you give her the room? I'm not a little kid anymore. I sleep in a separate adult room in my own bed. Mikey's just kidding. In fact, you should like that room. It's beautiful with lots of toys and stuff for kids. Yeah, it's great here. Sounds like fun. Where is this room? This is the room in front of you. Get inside. It's so nice of you to 
take care of me. Feeding me, changing my diapers, and letting me sleep here. Thank you both. Yes, we both did our best. It's so nice and cool in here. So many toys and there's a TV. Can I play here? We're glad you like it here. But it's too late now, Afmao. Tomorrow you can play here all day long. And here's your bed. You'll sleep here. It's so soft and so warm. I can't wait to lie in it. That's great. And we wanted to renovate this place and turn the room into a play area. We didn't think we'd have a child visiting. Yeah, good night, Afmao. Sweet dreams to you. Good night, JJ. Good night, Mikey. Thank you. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Is Aunt Pao asleep yet? Yeah, she just went to bed. It would be cool to have her stay with us longer. No, no, Mikey. She has parents. They're probably looking for her. She's gonna stay with us for a while. Yeah, you're right, JJ. I liked her, but let's hope her parents don't find her. Okay, let's go to bed, Mikey. Good night, JJ. Sleep well. Thanks, Mikey. Have a good night's sleep, too. Hey, everyone. Today, my brother Mikey and I are picking out toys to send to the orphanage. Hey, hey, we choose to help kids who don't have toys. Yeah, we have quite a lot of toys, so we decided to do a good deed. We've seen in our whatever series SpongeBob does good deeds, so we wanted to bring kindness to the world, too. Yes, we don't even feel bad about giving any of it away. We want to be kind like SpongeBob. I agree. We wouldn't be poor if we gave a couple of toys to charity. I'm sure of it, too. We were left with absolutely no money. The bills came due. A very large debt. We won't be able to close these debts. We simply don't have enough resources. I think someone's here. Let's go see who it is. Hello? Hello. Who are you and what do you want? Why have you come to us? We don't have the money. We can't help you if you need it. I'm here to tell you about the fact that you haven't paid in over a month for your house. In that case, I will have to warn you that if you do not pay by tomorrow, we will have to take away your house and all the property in it. You have exactly 24 hours to solve this problem. Time's up. Good luck. What? But once they're taken away, we don't have a diamond to pay. Look, let's just drop everything and get out of here. What? Let's leave our kids behind. Let them know the news tomorrow. Okay. And we'll just pack up our stuff and go somewhere far, far away. All right, let's do it. Our kids can do it alone. I'm sure of them. Hurry up, hurry up. Wait! Do you remember we have an unfinished game of Dodds? Of course I remember. We played for almost two hours and couldn't find a winner. So let's find him. Wait, what? What? The sound of a car engine. Parents are going somewhere. Maybe it's not them. Let's go look out the window and see who's coming. If it's the parents, why didn't they even say they were going out? Something weird, JJ. Look, it's our parents' car. They're going somewhere and they didn't even tell us. Could something bad have happened, JJ? They always warned us if they were going to leave. Look, they took the road they take to the store. They want to surprise us. That's awesome. We're getting new toys. Yeah. Cool. I really love surprises. Me too, Mikey. Our parents are beautiful. Maybe they'll donate a new pool or a PS5 or something even better. Jesus, Mikey, why would you wish? Or even more of the usual toys. We can give more to the orphanage. Three hours later. JJ, it's almost dark and the parents are still gone. Maybe there's a line at the store? Look outside. What's the line? It's true. It's too dark already. Look at the time. We should be going to bed very soon. What's wrong? It's very late. Our parents never came home this late. I'm worried. Let's go to the first floor and call them. That's a great idea, JJ. We need to make sure they're okay. Let's go make a phone call, Mikey. Why didn't we think to call sooner? We'll call them now and make sure everything's okay. And find out what kind of surprise they have in store for us. It's a good thing phones were invented. We'd be sitting around worrying and waiting for our parents to show up. Yes, let's go make the call. Hopefully they will take our call. Of course they will. Don't delay. Make the call. I pressed it already. Now we'll find out where our parents are and where our surprise is. Oh, no. Holy turtles. JJ. They're not picking up the phone. Why? Maybe something happened to them. They always picked up the phone. Don't worry, Mikey. They probably just can't hear. Too many coincidences, JJ. Never happened before. I'm sure something happened to them. Let's go to bed, Mikey. We'll wake up tomorrow and our parents will be home. Let's go, JJ. Better to sleep than sit around worrying. Don't worry so much. There's no reason to get so upset. Okay, JJ. You'll see, Mikey. We'll wake up tomorrow and our parents have prepared a gift for us that we never dreamed of. I sure hope so, JJ. Not for a surprise, but for our parents to come home safe and sound. Good night, Mikey. Everything's gonna be okay. The next day. Huh? What's... what's that sound? It's the doorbell. Apparently, our parents are back. Mikey, get up. Our parents are back. Mikey, stop sleeping. Come on, get up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. What's wrong, JJ? Can't you hear it? Our parents are ringing the doorbell. They're back. It's true. Did they really come back? It's morning already. Let's hurry up and open it. They've been ringing the doorbell for a long time. They're finally here. I've missed them already. I miss them too, Mikey. Let's go open the doors. <gasps> what? Who are you? We're law enforcement. We are here with two policemen to repossess your house for non-payment of debts. Huh, what? Come inside. Occupy the place. Wait, what? Here's the receipt. The amount owed is 32 diamonds. We came and talked to your parents about it yesterday. By the way, 
Where are they? We don't know. They left yesterday. I'm sorry, but this is no longer your home. What? What the hell happened? Our parents abandoned us? Where are we supposed to go now? I don't know, JJ. Let's get out of here. I'm really sad to be here. I'm going to cry. Don't cry, Mikey. We'll figure something out. What can we come up with? We have no home. We have no money. Our parents have left, forgetting about us. Look at that. They're taking our stuff out. Oh my god, they can take anything. All our stuff is now their stuff. Our house is not our house anymore. There are so many of my toys in there. <laughs> Mikey, don't cry, please. The important thing is that we have each other. What a lot of stuff they have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mikey, get over yourself and stop crying. Oh. Only girls cry. Now we're going to go into the woods and survive there. Okay, JJ, the important thing is that I have you. The two of us will get through anything. Let's go to the woods before it gets dark. We gotta figure something out soon. I'm scared, JJ. Are we going to be okay? I don't know. I hope so. Okay, Mikey, let's build a house in the forest. It'll be cool. We need resources to build it. Resources? How are we going to get them? It's simple. Here's a tree. Break it. Wood will fall out of the tree. We'll use them to make planks. We don't have an axe to cut down a tree. Mikey, you can do it with your hands. That's right. We live in the world of Minecraft. I completely forgot about that. Come on, Mikey. You're doing great. A little more. Yeah, I broke the block. I got the tree. Look, JJ, I got a block of wood in my hand, and it doesn't hurt my hands at all. Mikey, you're a real Minecrafter. You've played this game half your life for a reason. Now we're going to build our own house. Yeah, Mikey, it's not what I imagined. I wanted to build a huge mansion, but it turned out to be some kind of barn. But at least it's something. JJ, we have no experience in construction. At least now we have a roof over our heads and we're not homeless. Yeah, you're right. The cool thing is that we didn't give a dime for this house. We don't owe anybody. Here we have the beds where we're going to sleep. They're not likely to be as comfortable as the ones in our old house. Mikey, but I'm hungry. Where can we get food? We usually buy something at the store, but we don't have the money to pay for it. We have to figure out something to get food. I'm hungry too. I could use a juicy hamburger. Maybe we should start shoplifting. No, Mikey. Stealing is wrong. I got an idea. We can hunt in the woods like real hunters. Hunters? Sounds like fun. I agree. Let's hunt. We'll shoot some animal and roast it over a fire. But what will we hunt with? With this one, I had time to make a bow on the workbench. The arrows will get us some meat. Wow. Wow, Mikey, this is so cool. Yeah, JJ, we're like primitive humans. Let's go hunt mammoths. Come on, Mikey, but all mammoths are long extinct. Or maybe they're hiding in these woods. Imagine how much delicious meat they have in them. Oh, meat. I think mammoth meat is delicious. It's very tasty. Two hours later. Mikey, we've been looking for mammoths for hours. I told you they were all extinct a long time ago. There's no one in this forest but us. JJ, we need to keep looking. We need food. There's no food here. Everything annoys Ouch. me. I want to eat. JJ, we don't have any other options for finding food. You tell me not to steal food. I don't know what we're gonna do. Hey, there's a guy behind you calling for us. What are you guys doing here? You shot me in the soft spot with an arrow. I thought we were alone in the woods. What are you even doing here? You shot me. Have you ever been shot with an arrow? It really hurts, by the way. Oh, I really shot him in the buttocks. Please forgive us, we're an accident. Accidentally? Right in the buttocks by accident? Yeah, we were looking for the beast. What kind of beast? We hunt in the woods because we have nothing to eat at all. Nothing to eat? You're two little kids. Yeah, our parents left us. Now we're hungry. Oh my god, that's awful. You you know I can help you. I'm inviting you both to my house. We have so much food. I'll feed you. Will you feed us? That's cool. We haven't eaten anything all day. That's great. I'll introduce you to my wife. She's very fond of little children. We'll be happy to help you. Aren't you going to grab us? No, come with me. JJ, nice shot. You got us a lot of food with that shot. Yeah, Mikey. I didn't expect to hit anything at all, but I wouldn't turn my back on food. Whoa, this is your house? It's pretty big. Yeah, this is my house. It's not big and it's not rich, but at least it's something, you know. This house is so much cooler than our parents. Hey, guys. Guys, what are you standing there for? Come inside. Yeah, yeah, we're on our way. You know, it's been a long time since we've had guests. You can make yourself at home here. It's bigger than our barn. Okay, let's go. Guys, here comes my lovely wife, Speaker Woman. I hope you two become friends. Here I am. Hi, honey. Oh, you brought guests home. Hey, kids. You two are so cute. Oh, thank you. You're very pretty, too. Yeah, she's pretty cute. They're hungry. Hungry? Then come to the table. We'll feed you. We are so hungry. Do you have mammoth meat? Mammoth meat? They've been extinct for years. Oh, Mikey. Now we're pretty sure there were no mammoths in that forest. Yeah, kids. You're so funny. Even if mammoths existed now, you couldn't bring them down because you're kids. Here's your food. You can eat. I think it'll be delicious. Thank you so much. It really looks and smells delicious. Look at you guys eating what I made. My husband doesn't like my food. You probably haven't eaten in ages. Oh, that was really good. Thank you for feeding us. Oh, kids, we're glad you enjoyed it. I wish they were burgers. It's already night outside. Why don't you stay with us tonight? Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, Mikey. I don't really want to sleep in that barn either. Since you don't have your own house, you can stay with us longer. Yeah, I don't mind. Why not? 
not? So do you agree? Yes, of course. Sleeping in a barn is cold and not cool. How lucky I was to shoot that man's buttocks. You can call me the best sniper in the world. And there's your room. Our private room with a TV and a pool and toys. Yes, you can use it all. We are very hospitable to guests. Yeah, I hope you guys like it here. Of course we like it here. You remind us of our parents when they had money. Oh, that's nice to hear. Well, you guys have a good night. Yeah, good night. Both of you, you must be exhausted from today. Good night. Thanks again for helping us out. Good night to you too. JJ, now we will have a new home, new parents, and new adventures. Life is getting better. Now good night to you too. Good night to you too, Mikey. See you tomorrow. Oof, I stink. Dumps aren't that good smelling. Where am I going to find a place to spend the night? I think this barn will do for me. Now this magnificent palace will belong to me. From this day forward, I am no longer a crazy homeless person. Hi, friend. I'm JJ. We're hanging out with Mikey at the playground again. Hey, what's up? I'm Mikey. I decided to swing on the swing set, but I almost threw up. I now use the swing as a regular bench. Then why were you swinging so high? Come down, Mikey. I just wanted to see how high I could swing. Always gotta know what you're capable of, JJ. Who doesn't make mistakes doesn't drink champagne. Understand? Mikey, what champagne? You're just a kid. JJ, it's just a saying. You're missing the point. Learn the proverb, silly JJ. Oh, Mikey, look. Parents are out. Where are they going to go? I don't know. Let's ask them. Hey, Dad, Mom, where are you going? to go. Hi, kids. We're going to go to the store. Yeah, we're out of salt. I can't live without this seasoning. Is there anything you need to buy? Uh, sure. We'd like chips, coke, and burgers. And nuggets, too. Okay, we'll buy it. Kids, don't take long walks. When it gets dark, go straight home. It's dangerous outside. We'll be back soon. Okay, we're off. Be good boys. Don't be naughty. Bye-bye. Don't miss me. Bye-bye, Mom. We'll be waiting for you. And don't run in the roadway. You could get hit by a car. Of course. We better not play in the driveway, Mikey. Oh, JJ, look. Some kind of truck. I've seen it before. Oh, my God. It's a skibbity toilet scientist. Okay, these two options are the right ones for my trials. <laughs> Who are you? Come here, sweetie. <laughs> hey, put my mom back. Get your claws off him. What are you doing? I'll take this one too. Too good a test subject for my experiments. <laughs> and you kids get out of here. What's going on? Where is he taking our parents? Hey, stop. Stop the car. Give us our parents. I hate you toilets. JJ, what are we going to do? That stupid toilet took our parents. I don't know. Usually it's us who get kidnapped, not our parents. I think we should call the police. They'll probably help us. The phone is at home. Let's go home quickly. Why does the skibbitus need to take our parents? He said it was for some kind of experiment. Oh my God. He's going to put our parents on pills. What's going to happen to them? I hope they get out of his captivity. They are strong. I hope they get out too. Come on, JJ, call the police. Yeah, but I forgot the police number. JJ, how could you forget the number? So remind me, is this the smartest one here? The police number is 911. Dial faster. Okay, 911. Hello, this is the police sheriff speaking. It's your emergency. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Our parents have been stolen. Some skibidi toilet scientist grabbed them and took them away in a truck. I will test on you my own serum that causes extremely high levels of aggression. I'm so smart! <laughs> These levers will send electrical impulses to their brains, so I can reprogram them to think what I want. And what do I want? I'm sure it's something nasty. <laughs> I'll add a little bit of this, except I forgot what that lever does. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Now they're gonna want to eat their children. What a genius I am. Now, bam, all of it. Now they're cannibals. Ah, uh, my head hurts. Me too. It hurts so bad. My, my greetings, our master. master. We await your orders. We'll do whatever you tell us to. Everything is going exactly as planned. Both of you, you'll go home pretending nothing happened. The next morning you have to eat. Eat your babies. <laughs> I should shut down the virus. I'm gonna need it. Three hours later. You know what I mean? Our parents were stolen. They were stolen this morning. Yeah. They were stolen over there by the bus stop. Right there? Where am I pointing? Yeah, right over there. It was done by a skybitist scientist. Okay, did this toilet have any special markings? What did the truck look like? I want all the details of the crime. The skibbitist had a mechanical claw from a toilet bowl. He was half bald, gray-haired, glasses. So he drove off in a rusty truck. That's all we remember. All right, great. Your testimony will help the police investigation. What? Mom? Dad? You've been stolen! Hello, children. We came from the store. Hey, everybody. My husband and I arrived a little late. What? Why did you call me here, then? But our parents were really stolen. I don't understand. You were stolen by a skibidi toilet. How did you get back? How is that even possible? No, kids. It's not funny at all. I've got a lot of things to do. I don't want to play with you. Please forgive our children. They were just playing. We'll talk to them. They won't do it again. Thank you for coming. Well, then keep a better eye on them. You better get going. Have a good day. 
Goodbye, Sheriff. Again, sorry for the inconvenience. See you later. Bye-bye. Mom, Dad, we saw how you were grabbed and taken away in a truck. No, 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 none of this is true. We were just in the store. It's all good. Now go to bed, both of you. You don't remember anything about the scientist Skibidi? It's late, baby. We'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Go to bed now. You two are weird. Are you sure you're okay? We're fine. Go to sleep, or you'll both be punished. Okay, 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 we're going to bed. Just don't swear, please. It's like our parents have been replaced. Yes, they are very weird and rude. Maybe that scientist did something to them. I don't like it. Yes, we should be wary of our parents. There was some more steam coming out of their heads. Something's not right. Okay, we'll decide what to do tomorrow. Now let's go to sleep. Okay, JJ, let's go to bed. We really have to be careful. I don't think this is going to go away tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Good night, Mikey. Good night, JJ. And I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. I just hope for the best. Here are some of our favorite and delicious babies. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to take a bite out of them. I agree. I'd love to chew on them. Okay, here's the deal. You take the green one, I'll take the red one. We take them downstairs and cook them up. Honey, let's do this as quietly as possible. I don't want them kicking. Let's smoke them and fry them. It'll be delicious. I never liked that green boy. It's heavy. Let the meal begin. Well, 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 I thought your name was JJ. I don't really care. He asked too many questions, called the police. We can't leave him. I'd love to eat him for breakfast. I can't believe I ever loved that disgusting child, that whiny little baby. And I called him my son. How awful. <laughs> now they're not going anywhere. I've never eaten human meat. I don't know what it tastes like, but I think it's gonna be delicious. Nothing tastes better than these babies. My made-up recipe calls for another two-hour wait for them to cook. Drizzle with a little apple cider vinegar, pepper, and smoke over low heat. Honey, you're like my chef. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Of course it's going to be delicious, especially if they keep spinning like that. What? Where am I? I'm frying on the steak? What's going on? Is Mikey asleep? We gotta get out of here. Do our parents want to eat us? That's why they're so weird. It's awful. Honey, I was wondering about the spices. Did you remember to salt them? Salt? Oh yes, salt. I really forgot to salt them. I'll run home and get it. Come with me. Help me look. I don't remember where the spices are. You're the one who does most of the cooking in the kitchen. Okay, darling. Okay, I think they're gone. We gotta get out of here. How I sweated as I lay over that fire. I can't believe what our parents wanted to do to us. Mikey, wake up. Get out of here. Oh, what? What am I doing on the fire? Mikey, our parents wanted to eat us. They turned into Hannibals. We have to get out of here now. What? They were gonna eat me? What's this nonsense? That's what they wanted. They took us asleep and started roasting us. Before they hear us, we need to run now. I don't believe you, JJ. My parents couldn't have done it. But they did it. No, no, we have to go to them and ask them. Are you crazy? They'll grab you again and roast you. You can't get out a second time. My mom loves me. That's impossible. It's possible, baby. How dare you climb out of the fire? It's time to finish them off now so they don't run away. Knock us down. What are they talking about? Now we're going to cut you. Mikey, run. Those are not our parents. Come on, hurry up. Now I believe you. They want to kill us. What did I tell you? Stop right there, both of you. You two little pieces of meat. Mikey, run. Run for your life. Run. I'm running. Ow. I've fallen. Get up quickly. Run. Run to the police station. Stop right there. Stop or it's going to get worse. We're your parents. Don't run. They are not our parents, Mikey. Run as fast as you can. I'm running. Don't even think about stopping. I'm scared. I can finally surf the internet. I'm so tired from today. Thefts, robberies, I'm sick of it. My mom told me to study to be a computer programmer. No, I'm stupid. I went to work as a cop. It's so boring here at night. There is nothing to do. Policeman, open up, please. We need help. Our parents are chasing us and want to eat us. Can you please help us? You know, the second time's not funny. This is not a joke. Our parents are chasing us with knives. Okay, kids, get out of here. I have a lot of work to do. No, 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 no. It's true. We're in danger. They're coming. Yes, please help us. We don't go out to die. I will not participate in your games. Go home. It's late. What are we going to do, Mikey? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Ha, ha, ha. Now we're going to cut you up. What? Who are you going to cut? Policemen. They chased us all the way to the station. Arrest them. Okay, don't worry, kids. Hands up, don't move, or I'll shoot. No tricks here. Ha, gotcha? No, 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 Sheriff. We didn't mean any of this. We were just playing around. I don't believe you. Slowly walk with your back to the next room. You are charged with attempted murder. That's what you go to jail for. You two are murderers. Wow, that's so cool. You'll be in jail for the rest of your life. Try to kill your own children. What animals you are. Both in the cage. Fast. Hands up. Don't put them down. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney and one phone call. If you cannot pay for a lawyer, one will be provided for you by the state. Do you understand your rights? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Just calm down. Now you just sit tight and keep your head down. 
and you children, I apologize to you for not believing you the first and second time. I'm so sorry. My negligence could have gotten you killed. What's next for our parents? We should cure them. Yeah, you're right, kid. The first police station needs a doctor immediately. We got two crazy people here. Okay, we're on our way. Don't worry, kids. We'll cure your parents. Did you hear that? You'll be normal again. Eating people is bad. You'll realize it soon. Woo! I already said goodbye to my life while running here. I hope our parents get well. Two hours later. Don't worry, kids. I know that doctor. He's the best psychiatric specialist in this town. Oh, we're glad to hear that. Here's the doctor himself. We've been waiting for you. Here I am. Sorry for the wait. Where are your psychopaths? There they are in the cage. They wanted to slaughter their own children. Please cure them. Oh, it's a messed up case. But that's okay. They'll become normal people with my special healing drops. Wow, I think this is it. Nah, get it. Psychopathies, drink this. Become normal parents so that no more people get slaughtered. And don't eat them. Okay, doctor. Wow, Mikey, they're healthy again. Our parents are back. Now they don't want to eat us. That's awesome. Thank you, doctor. That's my job. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks again. You've been a great help to us. Well, I think it's time to let your parents out. Yeah, I think they're safe for now. Of course. Mom doesn't have that evil smile now. Children, please forgive us for everything we've done. We don't remember things very well. You don't remember? You don't remember trying to stab your kids and eat them? You're going to jail for this. I'm sorry, but we don't remember anything. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. I forgive you. Oh, that's so cool. We're not going to get hurt. Let's go home already. Yeah, JJ, let's go home. I'm tired already. We've been running all night. Of course we were tired. Go home and tell me how we tried to eat you. Yeah, you can tell us later. Again, we're sorry about all of this. It's no big deal. You're our parents. We love you. Let's go home. JJ, come Yay, it's that long-awaited day, huh, Mikey? What are you talking about? Mikey, it's your birthday, isn't it? <gasps> That's right, it's my birthday. Are you happy? I'm more than happy. I'm just thrilled. Oh! I'll do whatever I want today. Viewers, let's wish Mikey a happy birthday all together. Yay! Write your birthday wishes for him in the comments. I wonder what exactly you'll write to me. Uh, Mikey, I'll congratulate you at home. Come on. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to our viewers. Oh! But I'm wondering what you're going to get me. Uh, but Mikey... Let's go home. Yes, okay, but I'm going to have to disappoint you a little bit. Oh, hmm. I forgot to prepare a present for you. What? I will never speak to you again. I'll think of something by tonight, I promise. All right, all right. I'll give you one last chance. Nice. And don't forget the candy gift for me as a bonus. Uh, okay. I won't disappoint you, great Mikey. Kids? Uh... Hey, did you have a good time? Yeah, we had a lot of fun, Mom. And how's our birthday boy doing? I'm doing great, waiting for a gift from JJ. Uh, well, good luck, JJ. Oh, my God. Uh, honey, congratulate our Mikey, will you? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Dad? Then do it. Happy birthday, Mikey. That's the way to do it. Thank you, Dad and Mom, for your congratulations. Yeah. Huh, thank you, our boy. I think we should have a celebratory dinner tonight. That would be great. I'm just a little short on groceries. Mommy, we'll buy everything with Mikey. You're both so good. Then buy some fruit with that money. Uh, okay. Mommy, why don't you go to the store yourself? Yeah, right, why? Oh, hmm. Well, hmm. Well, I want to go in the garage. That's because your dad and I will be busy doing our own thing. Oh. That explains a lot. Yeah. All right, kids. I'm off to the garage to fix the car, and I'll see you later. Come on, Mikey. Let's go to the store before it gets dark. No, JJ. Go on without me. Wait, what? It's my birthday today. I don't want to go anywhere. Uh, okay. Well, he's right. Since it's his birthday, he can spend it however he wants. I'm going to go to the store real quick. Hmm. Three hours later. That was a lot longer than I thought it would be. It took the grocer half an hour to explain to me where the fruit was in the store. It was a nightmare. Oh, JJ, you've been gone so long. Yeah. Come on, did you bring fruit? Yes, Mom. I took a little bit of everything. I hope it's enough. It's just an appetizer, JJ, so it's okay. Nice. Um, I managed to get a little hungry while I was at the store. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, JJ, you're back. Yay! Honey, how's our dinner coming? Dinner's ready so we can eat. Oh, so that's great. I'm really hungry. I'm very hungry, too. Oh! Let's all go to the table together. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys sit at the table while I go get Mikey. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go watch TV for now. We're not starting dinner without you. Oh, I have to hurry. Everyone is so tired and hungry. Mikey, let's go to the birthday dinner. Mikey, where are you? Oh, my God! Uh, Mikey? Why are you lying here? Uh, can you even hear me? Mikey! Oh, no, my brother! Mikey, wake up! What happened to you? Mikey! I don't understand how this could happen. Hmm. Kid, did you see what happened here? No. When I got here, he was already here like this. Okay, come on. I'm going to tell your parents and you something. Oh! Officer. What happened to him? Hmm. Let's face it. Your child died under mysterious circumstances. Oh, no. No way. We can't explain the cause of death. I'm sorry. But how could this happen? We were all at home. And I was at the store. I don't understand anything. All right. How's that? Let's all go downstairs together and figure this thing out. Uh, a detective should be here any minute. All right. Let's go. Wow. We have a detective coming over. Cool. Oh, there he is. Hello, officer. Oh! I can't as soon as you called me. Yeah, it's 
the Speakerman family and they had an accident. Hello. Hello. They found their son's body in his room. Hmm. I think you'll hear more about him from the family of the deceased. Uh, I hope the situation is clear. Yes, officer. I'll leave the rest to you. Thank you for your work. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, who do you have here? My name is JJ. I thought the officer said your son died. Who's this? Uh, that's our oldest kid. Yeah. Yeah, this is our oldest son, JJ. Hmm. I see. Uh, and could you tell me where your children live? Together or apart? And on what floor? Hmm. They both lived on the second floor. They have a large common room. Yes, we live together. Hmm. Okay, let's go check out the room in the body. Uh, okay. Viewers, what do you think happened? I don't understand anything right now. Is that him? Yeah, his name is Mikey. He was most kind and active. It makes me very sad to see him like this. Oh, my boy. What's up, detective? At first sight, of course, everything is very difficult to understand. Will we never know what happened? No way can it, detective. I'm going to have to interview you all one by one about what happened. Oh! I hope you don't mind. So, where were you when Mikey's baby died? What were you doing? And what was your relationship with the baby? And don't try to lie. I was in the garage at the time. I was fixing my car. You know, I have some suspicions about JJ. Hmm, interesting. I then made a celebratory dinner for his birthday, and JJ was shopping at the time. Hmm. And I was busy cooking dinner, so I didn't even go check on Mikey. I think JJ had every reason to kill Mikey. You think JJ could have done this? He was good at pretending to love his brother, but I know the truth. They never fought? No, my babies have always lived peacefully. I've never noticed them being aggressive towards me or each other. Do you really think JJ could have done this? It's possible. No, I don't believe it. And you don't think it's suspicious that it was JJ who found Mikey's body? Hmm. That's the most important piece of evidence. JJ, tell the detective everything you know, okay? Sure, Mom, but I don't know exactly what happened. I don't think I can do anything to help the detective. JJ, it's your turn to go to the detective. Uh, already? And you have to tell him the whole truth, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, JJ. Is he too scary? Nothing like that. He'll just ask a few questions and let you go. Go. Oh, well, I'll be back soon. And I think you two have a lot to talk about while I'm gone. Woo, easy, JJ. Oh, JJ, don't worry and get in that seat. Uh, okay. I'm just going to ask you a couple questions. You don't have to worry. All right, I'm ready. So, where were you when Mikey's baby died? Uh, I can't answer that question since I was shopping at that moment. It took me three hours to go to the store to buy fruit. Nightmare. There was a horrible salesman there. And what was your relationship with the baby? We had an awesome relationship, so why bother asking? Calm down, JJ. It's a standard question. You had a reason to ask that, I'm sure. Bottom line, why did you go to your room? Because I wanted to take Mikey out to dinner for his birthday. Don't tell me you think I did it. No, JJ, I don't think you did it, but if you find any evidence, tell me, okay? Uh, okay. You can go. All right, detective, I hear you. I'll tell you if I find anything interesting. Goodbye. Mom and Dad, I'm free. How'd it go? You weren't scared? No, Mom, I'm fine. I wonder what the detective said about our little JJ. Uh... Stop it already. I can bring him evidence. He said so. Really? Oh, that's it, I see. Yeah. All right, let's go home. It's getting dark out. Yes, let's hurry home. So no matter how much I think about it, I have no idea what happened. Apparently, it's just the three of us tonight. It makes me so sad. JJ, if you get scared, you can come to our room to sleep. Yeah, you can come to us, no problem. Good night, everyone. Good night, darling. Good night, Daddy. JJ, oh, if you want to, we'll remodel your room later. You lived there with Mikey, and now you're alone. It's okay, Mom. I understand. <laughs> Oh, Mom got so upset. But I'm really upset too, so I understand how she feels. Oh, Mikey, I still can't believe this happened to you. Oh no, this is just such a nightmare. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a flash drive from our security cameras in the house. I saw Dad use it. So if we have a flash drive and cameras, I can watch it and find out what happened. So let's find out the truth. Oh, I'm finally in this room all alone. I'm gonna have fun all day. And then JJ will come in and we'll, uh... Mom, is that you? Did he just say mom? Oh, mom, you look really scary. Don't scare me, please. <laughs> you stupid and insolent child. Ow! You belong in a dumpster. You'll never be... Oh, my God. It just can't be. My mom killed my brother. How awful. I have to tell my dad and the detective before it's too late. Otherwise, who knows what else she might do on the loose. I'm very scared to realize that she did it. But then I don't understand who could have done it. Dad, I know who did it. Oh, JJ, what are you talking about? It was mom. I saw it on the security cameras. Wait, what? JJ, what are you talking about? She knocked him out with one punch. But I didn't even go into his room. JJ, are you sure you mean what you say? Yes, absolutely. Let's go to the police station. We'll deal with it. Oh no, this is some kind of mistake. I would never do such a thing to my child. Is it certain that she was the one on the cameras? Yes, she was there. That's 100% certainty thanks to Stop your son. Stop pretending. Admit you did it and that's it. They don't usually admit it, huh? My little boy. Mom, aren't you ashamed of yourself? 
JJ, I really didn't do it. Hmm. It's just a nightmare situation. How long before it comes out? Five to ten years at least. Oh! Oh my god. All right, you can go. Thanks for helping the police, little detective. Uh, you're welcome. Go home safely. Yeah, JJ, we gotta go. Uh, okay. Daddy, what about now? What's going to happen to Mommy? Well, you can see for yourself. Uh... You will be tried in the next five days. You have the right to remain silent. What if Mom isn't guilty? It just can't be. You've shown proof. But little if it was no, someone and else. No, no. Ah, uh, JJ, that's enough. But why? I'm nervous enough as it is. Uh... So stop asking me questions I don't want to know the full answer to. Okay, Dad. Oh, I think I've done something wrong. Listen, JJ, I'm sorry I yelled at you at the police station. Dad, I'm fine. Hmm. Do you want to have dinner together now? I'm hungry, aren't you? Oh, no, JJ, I'm in no mood to cook or eat. I'm just feeling like a burned-out lemon right now. I don't feel like doing anything, you know? Yes, I understand, Dad. Go rest in your room, JJ. See you in the morning. Night. And if you need anything, come to me. Okay, Dad, I got it. Oh, it's been a very long and difficult day. But I can't get the look on Mom's face out of my head. There's obviously something wrong here. Maybe I didn't watch the whole thing on the flash drive. No, I've seen the whole thing. Uh, no, wait, I didn't watch the whole thing. I'll just watch the video to the end and be convinced, that's all. So I'll make this quick. Never be remembered or recognized. <laughs> I never liked that horrible kid or that JJ kid. Next night, I'm coming for him too. They're gonna feel the pain that no one can ever properly talk about. Oh my God, I was wrong. Oh no, I was really wrong. I've got to tell my dad what happened. I've got to hurry before that demon comes here. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, you look really cute. <laughs> Dad, stop it. She did it. JJ, take it easy on our guest. I am, after all, a very ordinary and friendly lady. She's the one who killed Mikey and framed our mom. Oh, what an adorable baby. <clears throat> but I didn't do it, believe me. Dad, I watched no, the rest of the kidding. video, and there she was. Oh, I'm so sick of this. Oh! I don't care who's guilty or not guilty. Believe me. Ow! Wow, Dad, that's a pretty good hit you got there. Let's just go to the police with this lady and show them the video footage. Yes, and let's set our mom free. You're a very bad demon. Well, the officer asked us to wait here. Okay. Do you think mom is guilty? No, it's not our mom's fault. I really hope that's the case. Uh... Oh! Honey, it's you! Mommy! Yes, it's me. Cool! Thank you for clearing me of the false accusation. What about the demon? That demoness is being questioned right now. Oh, she just has to get what she deserves. That's for sure. Okay, uh, well, I'm here with a little news. Did she really confess? Yes, she confessed to all her evil deeds. Oh! It turns out she didn't just do it to your Mikey. She did it to other kids, too. Oh, my God. I'm gonna go guard our prisoner. Thank you for your service, officer. Oh, I'm so glad there is justice. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't believe you, honey. Everything is good now, and that's... Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. JJ, what's wrong with you? Oh, I'm just in a really good mood. Wait, why? Because it's Sunday, Mikey. <gasps> oh, I just love Sundays. Really? Yes, because on this day, our parents come up with something cool and interesting for us. That's exactly why I'm in a good mood. I can't wait to see what they have in store for us today. Yeah, I'm really curious about that, too. JJ, what do you think it's going to be? Uh, Mikey, I think we have bigger problems. Holy turtles, JJ. What do you want from us? You're not welcome here at all. Mikey, we can't handle them alone. Daddy, Mommy. Oh, no, this is our end. Help us. Oh, what's going on here? Daddy. You stupid skibbity toilet. Come on, Dad. Why are you all bothering everyone again? Yeah. Stop bothering everyone. Dad, you're so cool. Wow. Thanks for saving us. Yay, thank you. Kids, don't thank me. It's my responsibility as your parent. Cool. Our daddy is the best. Yeah. Nice. You're overpraising me. You beat those toilets so easily. Yeah, it was incredible. So I can't just take them by surprise. Then I'll change my plan a bit by splitting up their loving family. They'll know the pain of skibbity toilets. The next day. Oh, good morning. I guess Mikey hasn't woken up yet. It's morning. Time to wake up. Oh, yesterday went great. And today I dreamed we were on a water slide as a family. Mikey, it's morning. Oh, JJ, good morning. Good morning. I dreamed you and I were boating in the park. Oh. Sounds cool, doesn't kids. it? Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, that's mom calling us. Uh, they must be having breakfast now and calling us to have breakfast too. Hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, we shouldn't keep them waiting for us. Yes, because it's frustrating when you wait too long for someone. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Good morning, mom and dad. Good morning. Oh, you're finally here. Well, it's great that you're already here. We have a little news for you. Well, we'll just go to the store now. It's actually an unusual store. Yeah, it's a toy store. Wow, are these toys really going to be bought for us? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Well, anything can happen. We'll be back soon. Behave yourselves. Oh, my God. Mom, can't we go with you? Oh, hmm. I'm so curious. Hmm, maybe. No, you can't. But why? I want to ride in our cool car, too. It wouldn't be a surprise, would it, JJ? Hmm. Yeah, let's stay 
home. Uh, okay. Behave and keep the home in order. Ah, uh, JJ will be in charge today. Oh! Yeah, and you, Mikey, listen to your brother. Oh my god! I'm up to this task you both have given me. That's great. Bye. Have a good trip. Bye-bye. We look forward to your return. Bring us lots of toys. We miss you already. Bye. Oh, JJ, we're gonna be alone all day today. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Hmm. I, for example, want to play all day today and do nothing. Do nothing at all? Yeah, especially as long as our parents aren't home. No one will punish us. But no one but me. Oh, huh? Have you forgotten already? I'm in charge of this house today. Okay, JJ. Oh, Mikey. Ah, uh, honey, I'm a little worried about our kids. Why are you so worried about them? Well, I'm just afraid something will happen to them while we're out. Well, they're not babies anymore. But how do I know they won't burn themselves on a hot stove? Oh, sounds to me like you're thinking too much of the bad stuff, dear. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, honey, try backing up. Oh, no, someone's blocking the path behind us, too. What are we going to do? Well, we gotta find out what's going on. Hmm, yeah. Hey, both of you, why are you blocking our way? Honey, don't yell. I think we're having a little trouble. Oh, well, that's not a problem. But there are only more of them around. Okay, now we're in trouble. Oh, uh, we surrender. We're just gonna fight back a little bit, okay? Darling. What? We've been having fun for four whole hours and haven't done anything useful around the house yet. So what, JJ? That's not good. We're having fun. We've got to end these games. Is it bad for two kids to have fun? Hmm. If not, why are you like this now? Because I've been given a responsible task and I'm sitting here playing. Calm down, JJ. We're kids. I know, but that doesn't mean, uh, you're expecting a call from someone? Uh, no. Maybe it's the parents calling us. Well, maybe. Oh, JJ, I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I feel bad about it, too. So, uh, hey, what can I do for you? <laughs> I don't need your help, but your parents... Parents will definitely need your help. Bring me one million dollars and I'll let them go. Sorry, kids. My strength wasn't enough. Don't listen to that old wizard. We'll manage somehow. <laughs> oh, my God. JJ, we need to go to the police right now. But he said just bring the money. I'm sure he'll fool us. So what are you suggesting? We'll tell the police. No, that's not a good idea. Well... I'd rather just give him money. But you can't do that, JJ. Oh, Mikey, no, and no, you're wrong. Parents have been saving that money for so long. <laughs> Mikey. All right, JJ, I'm sick of you. Uh... Do whatever you want. I'm going to the police. Uh, Mikey, I don't want to fight with JJ, you. JJ, you're already doing it. Mikey, wait. And if you choose to act irrationally, then do so. But I'm not going to do that. I just think it's a better option. Hmm, well, keep thinking that, and I'll go do the real saving of our parents. Oh, what? What did you say? Money alone won't solve the situation, but I'll give them real help. Unlike you, JJ. Oh my God. I'm 100% sure that money makes all the difference. That's why I think it's the only way I can save our parents. I don't want to take this money because our parents saved it for so long. But this situation is forcing me to do it. Ah, those kitty pictures are so funny. I will definitely show them to my kids after work. They will be so thrilled. Hello, my name is Mikey. I have an urgent matter. What's your emergency? Oh, hmm. Uh, right. Come into the office and we'll talk about it. Come on, come on in. Thanks for letting me in, but I'm in trouble. What's the problem, kid? My parents have been kidnapped by a toilet and he's asking for a huge amount of money as ransom. Oh, my God. <laughs> Will you help me? It's been a long time since I've seen such a funny visitor. Get out of here, comedian. These are serious guys. Oh, hmm. I thought I'd come to the right place, but apparently I'll have to rescue them myself. Thank you for your service, officer. Oh, uh, isn't that kid lying? Oh, we should follow him just in case. After all, if he wasn't lying, it's pretty bad. I've been waiting for Mikey for quite some time now. I've already counted all the money in this suitcase for the sixth time, geez. Oh, but I can't wait for him any longer. <laughs> This is a nightmare, JJ. Mikey, what's wrong? That policeman at the station just laughed at our misfortune. I don't know what to do now. Oh, my God. They're certainly not going to help us. Uh. So I'm out of ideas. Mikey, now we can go in there with the money and save our parents. Do you have any money? Yes, I've counted all the money, and now this suitcase has exactly the amount we need. Hmm. All right, JJ, we'll do it your way. Great, then let's go. Oh, and I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I thought the police would help us. Apology accepted. <laughs> Everyone can make mistakes. It's okay, Mikey. Now let's hurry up. Three hours later. Are you sure we're going where we need to go? Oh, yeah. Wow, did we find some kind of passage to uh, a cave? This place looks so creepy. Yeah. But according to the coordinates that wizard gave us, this is the right place. Did he give you the coordinates? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. To be honest, I don't really want to go there anymore. Hmm. Maybe our parents have already managed to get out of there. No, I don't think that happened. Hmm, indeed, then they would have called us. Well... It's so dirty in here, by the way. Probably to divert attention from the most important thing. Oh, how did you know that? Well, uh, I didn't know that. It's just what most villains do. Hmm, what are you doing now? Well, I just pushed the button. Oh, my God. Oh, hmm. Mikey, get ready. We're about to see that evil Skibidi toilet. Uh, JJ, why don't we just fight him? That's all. No, Mikey, he's a wizard. He's stronger than us. Uh, but I 
still think the four of us can beat him. Hmm. JJ, the elevator's open. Oh my god. What is that? Mikey, look out. This is a nightmare. I don't want to go any further. JJ, I know it looks dangerous. What do you mean, just looks? Well... That's the danger. But JJ, if we don't get over this hurdle, our parents may never come back to us again. I realize that, but Mikey... No buts, JJ. Oh no. I'll do it, and you follow right behind me. Uh, okay. All right, JJ, hurry up and move on. Oh my god. See, it's not that hard. Let's move on. Let's do it. Hi Mikey, you are unbelievable. Oh yeah, JJ, why don't you praise me after we survive here, okay? Uh... Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Mikey, the blade was very close to you. JJ, it's under control. Let's just get it over with. Mikey, don't scare me like that again, okay? Okay, okay. Phew. Let's move on. There may be more challenges ahead of us. Oh no, I don't want any more trouble. Huh, shall we? Oh no. Don't worry about it, JJ. It's gonna be awesome. But Mikey... We'll save everyone now. Oh! Then we'll have a party. Uh, okay. Wow, what brave kids they turned out to be. Uh, well, yeah, we're very brave. JJ, look at the situation our parents are in right now. Oh my god. Mom and dad. Where's my money, huh? Here, Mr. Wizard. We've brought you the right amount of money. Oh, yeah, back off. Oh, my God. Stupid kid. But I'm not stupid, am I? <laughs> oh, hmm. We gave you the money. Give us our parents back. No, no, no. I'll only let one of them go. Wait, what? Either your father or your mother. Wait, I'm only supposed to pick one? It's your choice. JJ, don't listen to it. But Mikey. Say you'll save our mom. But then what happens to our dad? And I'll save daddy in a big moment. And yeah, that's a good idea, Mikey. Then too. we can save everyone. I can handle it, JJ. Count on me. Uh, oh. I'm sick of waiting. So which one have you chosen? Um, we decided that we would save our best and most loving mom. <laughs> Your father is going to die. Oh, no. Mommy, don't worry. It's going to be okay. Okay, let's go. Wizard, you've always been good to us. What have we ever done to you? Haha, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. Daddy, hold on. I'll get you out. Oh, my God. Mikey, can you handle it? Yes, I can do it. You shouldn't have saved him. I will destroy your entire family. Oh. Uh, what's going on? Please don't move or resist. It's that officer. You are under arrest for threats, extortion, and other... Family, the police are helping us. We're saved. That's in great. maximum security prison by now. And as for you kids, forgive my negligence. I'll be more diligent in my work. Nice. I told you the police would help us. I was right. Ha, huh, okay, I agree with you. Are you both okay? Yeah. I hope we don't see that awful wizard for a long time. Mom, we're hopeful too. Uh, well, that's the way it's going to be because he's going to get more than one year in jail for such atrocities. Oh, wow. What's the approximate sentence he'll get? Hmm. If he's lucky, the minimum is 10 years. Wow, that's a lot. Mom, Dad, I'm so glad you're okay. Next time, we'll all go together. We'll buy you both lots and lots of toys to thank you for saving us. Cool. Huh, just let's make sure that when we go together, we're not absolutely all taken hostage, okay? Huh, uh-huh. That's for sure. We're lucky it ended well. Yay, hi, everybody. I'm in a great mood today, aren't you? Hey! Mikey and I are having a great time outside today. Yes, I especially love that we're walking on this playground today. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here. Oh, JJ, we haven't seen any skibbity toilets in so long, by the way. Yes, it's true. Come on, we gotta go. But at the same time, we have many different situations arising. Hmm. Well, I'm talking about going on vacation. Let's go to the side of the house and talk about it. Mikey, it sounds to me like we've been living more peacefully. Well... Although there are fewer skibbity toilets, it's true. That sounds suspicious to me. Why is that suspicious? Explain it to me. Well, that's because the sky is blue, okay? Uh, no, not okay. I don't get it. Oh, hmm. I'll tell our parents you're not telling me something. Calm down, JJ. I'm not hiding anything. Uh, what is that? Uh... JJ, look over there. There's some kind of weird gun over there. Oh, my God. Hmm. Uh, Mikey, it's kind of just garbage. JJ, I can see that this gun is unusual. Really? Yeah, I've never even seen one of those in a book. Oh, and this thing is a little heavy. Wow. Huh, Mikey, why don't we try shooting this gun? Well, it can be dangerous, but also a lot of fun at the same time. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's stand back and shoot. I even know the right place. Huh, what? There's an abandoned building. Shoot it. Wow, we're lucky no one lives here. Yeah, lucky us. All right, Mikey, you ready? Oh, yeah. Attack! <gasps> oh, Mikey, I don't get it. Hmm. What kind of gun is that? Uh, well, by the looks of it, it's a portal gun. Is it weird that I want to go in there? Yeah, JJ, it's weird. But Mikey... But I want to do the same thing you do. Oh! So let's do it. Uh... Go, JJ. Mikey, wait. Oh, what if it's dangerous? I didn't think of that at all. Ah, where am I? Oh, uh, where's Mikey? Look out, Mikey's coming. Oh, why'd you come out after me? Wow, JJ. It's a pretty weird place. Hmm. I'm not comfortable here. Okay, JJ, let's explore around here a bit. Yeah, I'd hate to miss this opportunity. And then we'll go straight home. Hmm, okay. Run, huh, run. You guys are in the wrong place. Because this place is going to be nothing but misery. I'll take care of that. The longer you stay here, huh, the worse it gets for you. I will take over your house and destroy everything you all hold dear. Whoa, ha, ha. Okay, Mikey, I'm getting a little tired of looking around already. Let me go dig up some more. Uh, 
JJ, where did you even get the idea that there might be ores here? I'm just sure of it. Oh, huh. Hmm. If you're scared, you'd better wait for me here. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Okay, JJ. I'll dig up a mountain of ore. JJ, take care of yourself and be sure to get back out there soon. Sure, Mikey. Before you know it, I'll be back here. Now it's time to explore this gravel-deserted place. These mountains are huge. Oh, hmm. Huh. This is about to be the most boring wait time of my life. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Stop. What? Don't worry. I'll just get rid of your brother and your whole family. Wait, who are you? You don't need to know that. But I'll tell you anyway. Mm. I'm you. What? Bye-bye. I almost feel sorry for you. Because thanks to you, I can get out into your world and do evil. Wohaha. <laughs> and no one will even realize the change because I could be you. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I found it. I was able to find some unusual ore. I can already imagine Mikey's surprised face when he sees these jewels I dug up here. Mikey, listen, I want to show you, uh, Mikey? Oh, you're back, my brother, JJ. Uh... I've been waiting for you for so long. I'm glad you made it back. Mikey, you're acting weird. Did you find something in those mountains of gravel? Uh... Because I was bored to death when you weren't here. Yes, it's very difficult to walk around here. How boring it was. You must be tired. If you're done exploring this place, let's hurry back home. Okay, look what I found, by the way. This is really cool stuff, JJ. Uh, but I'm really tired. Let's go home. Uh, okay. I don't know what's wrong with Mikey, but okay. Oh, this place looks quite familiar. Mikey, do you recognize this place? Of course I recognize this place. It's our home. Oh, uh, what? This huge castle, our home. Yay! Wow, marvelous. Yeah, I can't believe it myself. Wow, Mikey. It's pretty dark already. I hope our parents aren't too worried about oh, us. Oh, well, it still feels like it's not my house at all. Is that weird? Mm, interesting, interesting. You don't get that feeling? No, brother. I don't smell anything. I'll kill you. Wait, what? Well, Are you sure you're feeling okay? What's up? Mikey, I just heard you say something awful. No, I didn't say anything like that. You must have imagined it. Hmm. Let's not wait for our parents to argue and go inside. Uh, okay. But Mikey, I'm begging you, please don't play me like that again. Sure, bro. Oh my god, I don't remember anything here. Uh, mom and dad, hi. He had a huge head of, uh, oh, my little boys came home from a walk. Yeah. We walked here and there. It was a bit boring. Uh, wow, you must be tired. Wow, look at the time. Oh. It's so late. It's past your bedtime. I didn't realize it was getting dark. Oh, hmm. It's okay. You're here. It's okay. Yes, so go to bed quietly. Good night. All right, Mikey. Let's go to bed, huh? Yes, I'm very tired. Really, let's go. We, we wish, wish you, you a good, good night. night. Your room is upstairs. Oh, my God. Mikey, did our parents seem weird to you? I mean, we see them so loving and caring for us every day. That's true, but Mikey... Mikey. It's okay, bro. I, for one, have absolutely no recollection of our rooms being on the second floor of such a mansion. JJ, it's always been this way, and if you don't stop pissing me off, your death will come sooner. What? Uh, I mean, I'll hug you in your sleep. What did you say? What? What's wrong? Don't try to distract me, Mikey. Why are you doing this? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Huh, what? But in case you forgot, this is my room, hmm. and your room is across the hall, so I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, sleep well, brother. See you tomorrow. Hmm, that was really weird. So weird that I don't understand why he calls me brother and not by my first name. Hmm, I don't understand anything. What is this house? Let it all just be a dream and I'll wake up now. <laughs> good night to those who are asleep, for the good will not last long. Mohaha, <laughs> there's no one on the right, no one on the left. Who will be my victim from the beginning? <laughs> this series is so interesting. We've been watching this for three hours. So what? Are you sure this is interesting? Yes, of course. I want to watch something else on TV already. <laughs> a painful and horrible death awaits you. You haven't noticed me yet, you fools. But don't worry, your death is incredibly close. <laughs> so what are we going to watch? Let's watch Spongebob. Not this. I'm a fan. Oh, this cartoon is awful, honey. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, it's not a dream, it's real. Which is bad because then that evil part of Mikey is real too. Oh no, his room door is open. Did he really go for a walk? I don't like this at all. He's really not in his room. I heard someone screaming. It must have been my mom. I have to check what's going on. I'm still not a... Uh, oh my god, what was that? They're having some kind of electrical problem. This house is really huge. Uh, there's no one here and there's no one in the kitchen. Hmm, who was yelling then? Oh, mom and dad are fine. Uh, or are they not? Your knuckleheads need to bring me that boy. I want to deal with him personally. Hey, you. Oh, look who I see, huh? Kid? Come to us, we won't hurt you. What have you done to my family? This is your family, little brother. We love you. We will destroy you. No, you're not my real family. Why? This is some kind of horror. Oh my god. No! Ah! I must get out of this house soon and call for help. Hurry up, hurry up. Ah! How did you all get here? You can't run away from us here. Oh no. If it's all a joke, it's not funny. Oh my god. This is no joke. They've really all gone crazy. I gotta get out of here. Ah! Run, run, run! 
run, brother. Because we like to catch up. Let's play again, shall we? Stop! You'll never get out of this house, because everything here is subject to my will. Wait, let's try to make a deal. Hee hee hee. Bye! Holy turtles! JJ! Uh, where am I? Oh, right, I got knocked out by that evil copy of me. This must be his lair! I hope JJ realized that this phony is not me. And I'll be found soon. Our beautiful girl is awake! Uh... Wake up already! I'm tired of waiting! Oh my god! Now it's time to do something terrible! Do it! He's not going to be one of us! He can't even see where he's going! Wait! Don't come near me! <laughs> and where am I going, uh... I'm going to the cliff! Daddy! You're annoying me! Oh no! I decided to get rid of you rather than make you my puppet! Be thankful! Mikey, I don't want to die! You're not gonna die! You're going to burn! Mikey, we're brothers. How can you do this to your brother? Very simple. I'm not your brother. Finish him. Oh my god. Is this really the end of me? I don't want to die with dignity. Please have mercy. Bye-bye. No. Ah, god help me. Oh, what is it? Uh, am I alive? Uh, if this is death, it's a very strange one. Hmm, it's a lab. JJ. Wait, what? Mikey, is that really you? JJ, I've been locked in here by some evil doppelganger. Hmm. I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I've been sitting here a long time. Mikey, how do I open this, uh, prison? Well, I haven't actually looked for a way out of here yet. You need to find it. But you could try pressing this button on the floor to open the door. Oh, there really was a button here all along. Okay, Mikey, come out. JJ, why did you believe me? Because you call me by my name and that weirdo didn't call me that. Huh. So it turns out we were able to outplay him. Yeah. JJ, look. Oh, uh, what? We're in his personal base, in his lab. Uh. So let's have some fun and break his equipment here. Mikey, no, wait, there's something you don't know. Stop. Our parents are under his control. Oh, hmm. You could have just told me about it instead of hitting me. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, you just started pushing buttons right away, so I flared up. Okay, it happens, JJ. Let's go see what's in here. Let's go. I didn't get a chance to push the brightly colored buttons. Oh, look. He has spacesuits at his disposal. That's cool, but look what's behind you. <clears throat> You'd be surprised. Oh, my God. I've never seen a gun like that. What about you, Mikey? Me too. Let's arm ourselves just in case. Yes, I agree. It's going to be a brutal battle. He can't beat us. Uh, We've got some pretty cool weapons now. What if he has guns like that, too? You're ruining the brutality of the whole moment, JJ. Mikey, I'm just afraid of losing. We just gotta win, JJ. Oh, no. Stop whining. It's gonna be a real battle. Okay, we should be able to handle it because we have each other. Exactly. Let's be careful and enter the next room. Uh, okay. Mm. Wow, really? Uh, yeah, this is the way out, Mikey. Great, we can get out of here. Let's get going soon. We'll have to figure out how to help our parents. All right, let's go. We'll come up with some plan on the way. Yeah, I wonder where they are now. Ah! JJ, what's wrong? What happened, little brother? Look! <gasps> Did I really scare that fake boy? Am I that scary? You are the scariest, sir. Hurry up and destroy these fakes. I was just about to do that. Whoa, ha, ha. Mikey, is it or is it not time for us to brutally fight. You won't do anything to me. JJ, it's time. Attack! Oh, that was so loud. JJ, well done. That was a good shot. Cool! Mom, Dad, are you okay? Where are we? Mommy and Daddy. I don't know what it is, but we're fine. We were fighting an evil version of Mikey. Yes, it was a brutal battle. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. Where are we? You're big young men, boys. Daddy, we're at evil Mikey's base. It's in another dimension. This is just kind of crazy. Yeah, I think so too. JJ just went bang with a cannon and evil Mikey was gone. Yeah, I had a little fight with him at some mansion before that too. I wasn't there. I hey, everybody, it's JJ again. And Mikey. How are you guys doing? I hope it's good. JJ, why don't we keep walking? The weather's great today. We should walk more. Let's go that way. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Yeah, Mikey, let's go. What do you think we might find? Maybe we should just go to our playground. It's just that way. All right, JJ. As long as we're going in the right direction, why not? But if we see something interesting, we'll definitely go there. Oh, look, there's an abandoned building over there. Why don't we go and see what's interesting? Mikey, are you sure you want to go in there? I'm kind of scared. Yes, I'm sure I do. Let's go there quickly. Mikey, wait. Maybe we shouldn't go in there. JJ, why are you standing up? Let's go. Oh, Mikey, I don't like it, but let's go see the house. Great, JJ. I'm so glad you're always with me. I'm not even that scared. Yeah, Mikey, you're right. I'm not scared of anything with you either. JJ, what do you think we'll find in there? I hope there won't be ghosts. I'm really scared of them. Yeah, I hope there won't be ghosts there either. I'm afraid of them too. Let's go see what's inside, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Just not for long, okay, Mikey? All right, JJ. I wasn't planning on staying long. Mikey, are you sure we should go inside the house? JJ, don't worry. It'll be fine. I think if it was dangerous, they would have torn it down a long time ago. But it's just an abandoned house. Mikey, this place looks so creepy. Why don't we get out of here? I don't feel comfortable here. 
JJ, hurry up and get over here. I found something. Here, look, there's a tape. Hmm, it says don't touch it. Let's see what happens if we take it. I don't think we should. Come on, Mikey. Look, I'm holding it in my hands and nothing happens. JJ, put her back down before something bad happens. And let's go back. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Oh, no, Mikey, look, there's a ghost. Let's get out of here. JJ, I told you, don't touch that tape. Look, Mikey, there's another ghost. Let's get out of here. JJ, what are you standing there for? Hurry up and get out of here, or they'll take you away. Get away from us, stupid ghosts. JJ, come to me. Hurry up and get away from this place. Let's go home, quickly. You're right, Mikey. Look, the ghosts have left us behind. JJ, that's good, but we have to go home and tell our parents. Mikey, what do you think? What's on that tape? I don't know, JJ. Now we're gonna go home and tell our parents. And then we're gonna go up to our room together and see what's on that tape. Okay, Mikey, we will. All right, JJ, let's go inside and tell our parents. You tell them yourself. Okay, JJ, I'll start and you go on. Mom, Dad, we found this in an abandoned house. We decided to see what was in the house. And when we went in, we saw a tape that said, do not touch, and we took it, and then the ghost chased us. Kids, it's your games again. Don't stop us from cooking and go upstairs. We're telling the truth. Come on, JJ, don't worry about it. I had no doubt they wouldn't believe it. Let's go to our room and see what's on this tape. Yeah, you're right. Let's go see what it says. But I'm worried about it. What if the ghosts reappear? What then? Put it in the player. If you're scared, give it to me. I'll put it in. OK, here's the tape. Put it in the player. But it's not because I'm scared. Put it in the player. That's it, JJ. Now all we have to do is turn on the TV and we'll see what's on the tape. There, take the remote. All right, Mikey. I'll turn it on then? Yes, JJ, turn it on. Hmm, it's not showing anything. Well, the game's about to start. Oh my god, Mikey, did you see that? What is that? I don't get it. What game? What was that skibbity toilet talking about? I don't know, JJ, but I don't like this at all. What? Who's that calling us? I don't know, JJ, but we should pick up the phone and listen to who's calling. Hello? We're on our way to get you. What? Mikey, who is that? I don't know, JJ, but I think we need a place to hide. I agree with you, but where are we gonna hide? I don't know yet. What? That TV turned itself on. Did you see that? Yes! Look, dude, it's those kids. Let's infect them faster. What? What was that? What was that strange disturbance and strange feeling? And I'm full of energy. Hey, Mikey, you feel it too? Mikey, are you there? JJ, I feel awesome. But I've got this crazy urge to get our parents on TV. I feel like we should do it. Mikey, I have that urge too. JJ, then let's go downstairs to our parents. We have to get them on TV any way we can. I feel like it's our calling. All right, you ready? Yeah, Mikey, I'm ready. I feel the same way you do. All right. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to knock out my dad, and you're going to take care of my mom. That's a good plan, Mikey. I think it'll work. Hey, Mom, Dad, we're here for you. Kids, what's wrong with you? You look kind of weird. We're here to knock you out and drag you to the TV. That's what the Skibidi Toilet said. What? What are you kids talking about? Mikey, are you ready? Let's go to the plan you came up with. We're going strictly according to it. Do you agree? Of course I agree. I'll go first. Kids, what are you doing? Good job, JJ. Now, we have to get them to the TV. You take mom, I'll take dad, and we'll carry them upstairs, okay? Yeah, Mikey, that's a good plan. Then let's get them and take them upstairs. Mikey, why are you doing this? <laughs> He won't listen to you, darling. But my sons... They've tied us up and they're going to do something to us. Well, that's true. What's there to talk to them about? Hmm. Stop talking, both of you! Have you lost your fear? You're the worst thing I've ever had in my life. But JJ, we have always loved and cared for you. Huh, I've never heard such nonsense before. Yeah! Teach them a lesson! So you're trying to annoy me in this situation? No, what are you talking about, JJ? He's just messing with us. Don't pay much attention to him. Hmm. Let's go gather some twigs for our torture. Oh yes, let's set fire to all those branches at their feet. My baby, you don't have to do this. Oh, quiet, Mommy. No one asked you for your opinion. You don't have a chance to save yourself. Sit in silence, and maybe your death 
death will be quicker. Hurry up, my evil friend. Great evil deeds await us. Don't try to run away. We'll get you everywhere. Let's get a whole bunch of twigs together. Honey, if we stay here, we'll know something worse than death. Yes, they'll torture us with fire. I don't want this at all. We need to get free of these ropes. Well, I'm always prepared for the unexpected. Oh, that's why I loved you, my dear. <laughs> You're always full of surprises. Should I expect more surprises? Maybe I'll think of something else I can surprise you with. Whoa. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah, you're right. There's no telling how long it'll take them to come back. Hopefully we'll have enough time to escape. Let's go deep into the woods and get away from them. Oh my god, listen to what I just came up with. I'm all ears. We have to save our children. We'll set a trap for them. Five minutes later. There are no normal branches in the woods. Well... We'll burn with logs, huh? Oh, hmm. Uh, we left them by this tree, didn't we? Yes, they were here. I made a mark on this tree. Didn't you make a good knot in the rope? No. I made a perfect knot. No one could undo then it. Then how could this happen? I have no idea. Oh, my God. We have to find them soon before they get too far away. Yeah. You go that way and I'll go the other way. Uh, okay. When you find them, holler. Holler? Yeah, we're in the woods. <laughs> you can hear the screams very well here, huh? I feel like we need to stick together. Let's split up. They can't stand up to our strength anyway. Okay, I agree. Scare everyone, my evil friend. Those two weaklings won't do anything to us. Where are you, our little victims? I'll find you. Phew, look. This looks like the right place. Yes, we can make a beautiful trap here. Yeah. We've got to get ready. So what's your plan? Um, you said something about an anvil, but I didn't get it. Yes, we'll hit one with an anvil. Hmm. And while the other is distracted, we'll heal them. All right, let's go get everything ready. Let's go. And how do we cure them? In case you haven't noticed, they have toilets on their backs. Where are they hiding? I'm going to find them. They'll be sorry for everything they've done to us. I'll find them sooner or later. I hate this forest. They could be behind every trunk of this tree. I'll be done with them soon. I've been wandering around these stupid woods for an hour. Those parents couldn't just disappear. Splitting up on their own was a very bad idea. Everything pisses me off. Maybe they're sitting in tall colors. Oh, there you are. You can't run away from me now. Get ready for a fight, man. Hello, son. Took you long enough to find me. Shut up. You're going to go down with one no, punch. No, no, I think I've had enough. I have a surprise for you. You like surprises, don't you? No. Honey, pull the lever. Won't it hurt him? Lever. Anvil. What's that for? No, it'll just put him to sleep. Well, that's good then. I'm sorry, son. I'm already imagining what I'll do to my parents when I meet them. What was that? Screaming? Was that JJ's voice? Oh my god, he needs my help now. Could those two have knocked him out? I'm gonna run in the direction of the scream. That feeble-minded JJ could never stand up for himself. Wow! You were able to knock him out after all? That's it, Dad. You're gonna pay for this. Calm down, kid, and watch your language. You're talking to your father. One more threat or strike against me, I don't answer for myself. You got it? Who are you threatening now? Your knees are shaking with fear, Daddy. Ouch! That's it. Welcome back, son. We were so worried about you. Mom, what am I doing in the woods? I'm itchy and sleepy. <sighs> Poor kids. What are those things? They've taken control of their brains. They need to be taken to the hospital. Yeah, honey, you're right. I think the kids need a doctor. Our new Lamborghini will get us to the hospital very quickly. Let's go. Oh, my head hurts so bad. The patient's awake. How are you, my boy? Your vitals are normal. You don't have to worry. Uh, it's all good now. Hmm, what about Mikey? He's just sleeping. Come to your senses, Mikey. Oh, what's going on? Where are we? Your heads were seized by Skibidi toilets, but we were able to rescue you. Wow. Kids, we're glad you weren't hurt too badly. They're incredibly lucky, ma'am. Huh, what? Okay, I won't bother you anymore. Have a nice day. Goodbye, doctor. And thanks for everything. Hmm. So now tell us why you two are in this situation. We're just wondering why our neat, smart kids oh. have been invaded by Skibidi toilets. Well, we just found an abandoned house and took an old tape from there. Didn't you think there would be something bad in there? No, Mom. There are Skibidi toilets in our world. That should be a bad sign for you by now. Hi, everybody. I'm JJ. Good to see you on our channel. Hey. I've got Mikey with me right now. Hey, everybody. I'm Mikey. Yeah. And me and JJ are playing at our cool playground right now. Yeah, Mikey, you climb like a monkey. Huh. Well, you may be right, but I like it a lot. Really? Of course it's fun. Hmm. I'm also incredibly hungry. Let's go home and see if Mom's made something to eat. Do you think she's cooking chicken? Oh, yes, I would eat juicy chicken. Yeah, I'm a little hungry, too. Let's go. Oh, I'd like fries with the chicken. Mikey, stop it, or I'm going to get a stomach ache from hunger. Huh. What? Am I the only one who has to suffer or something? Well, no, of course not, but please have pity on me. Okay, okay. Listen, we're dreaming here, but I can't smell anything. Oh, hmm. It's bothering me. Don't worry, JJ, Car, we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, listen, okay. we Hello? Hi, Mom and Dad. Oh, hey, kids, are you home from your walk yet? Yeah. We were just discussing something with our mom. Uh, yeah, tell them that. We want to buy a car for our family. Oh, my God. What kind of car do you think our parents will choose? Hmm, I don't even know. It's a cool car. I'm sure it will be a Lamborghini. No, I think it's... 
it's going to be a Ferrari. Huh, how funny. Don't argue. We're going to the store right now to buy a car. Okay, Dad, but I still think it's going to be Lambo. Blah, 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 blah. It's definitely going to be a Ferrari. What? No. JJ, they said it was a cool car, and what's cooler than a Ferrari? Lamborghini's cooler. So, are you guys done talking? We should get going. Hmm. Let's have some manners, JJ. No, you won't last five minutes. You don't know me very well, JJ. Kids, stop arguing. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get a headache from both of you. Okay, okay. Dad, are we taking the bus instead of a cab? Oh, yeah. But why it's cooler in a cab? Cabs are expensive, JJ. It's not that it's expensive. It's just more convenient right now. Wow, here comes the bus. Yay, the bus came very quickly. Oh, I so dislike transportation. I get car sick a lot. Ah, uh, JJ, you're just weak. Mikey, why are you talking about your brother like that? Well... Two hours later. Okay, I'm sorry, JJ. Thanks for your help, Mom. Kids, look, we've come to the auto store. Dad, but it says here it's an auto shop. JJ, there's almost no difference. Yes, there is a car service here, and you can buy a car. It was to buy a car that we came here. So let's go there. Uh, okay. JJ, I see a lot of different cars inside. Yes, I think there will be cool cars here, too. So, kids, uh, Mom and I are going to go get the paperwork for the car. It's not for long. Both of you are not going anywhere. You can look at the cars here, okay? Cool. Okay, okay. Dad, we will behave well, I promise. JJ, I saw something extremely interesting. Oh, what? Look at this. Oh, my God. It's a Ferrari. And here is a Lamborghini. Parents will buy this car. No, they'll buy this one. You don't understand anything, JJ. It's you who don't understand the beauty of Lamborghini, Mikey. My car is as red as your sport coat, but you don't like it? You can change the color, but you can't change the engine. Ooh, that's a good point. Oh, sure. And yellow is a nice color, too. Holy turtles. JJ. Kids, we're here. Oh, my God. What is that thing? Come to us. It's a terrible car. How could they buy this particular car? Look what a monster we bought. Uh, Dad, the car looks awful. But this car is very roomy. Also, we can go a lot of places in this car. Oh my god! I thought you were going to buy a Ferrari! Yeah, and I thought you were getting a Lamborghini! Oh, kids, these are incredibly expensive cars. We don't have that much money. Are we that poor? JJ, we're not poor. We're frugal. Hmm. This surprises and disappoints me greatly. I thought we had a rich family. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Okay, there's nothing we can do now. You're right. Let's go home. Kids! Because our parents are waiting for us. But I don't want to ride that thing. That's ridiculous. I wouldn't be surprised if this car breaks down by the time we get to our house because the condition of this car looks just awful. Oh, I could eat spaghetti and cheese right now. Oh, that's right, kids. Maybe you're hungry? Yeah. I've been dreaming about it since this morning. Then I'll cook something delicious when we get home. Three hours later. Dude, this is totally lame. No Lamba, no Ferrari. Hmm. It's just some old junk. Yeah. When I grow up, I'm gonna buy a cool car. Not some grandma's car. Yeah, you're right, Mikey. Adults are so weird. Maybe it really is reliable. Oh, Plus, we have a big family and need a big car. Hey, kids? Guys, we were thinking, uh, we'd like to take the whole family out for a nature trip and try out the new car. Oh, my God. Yay! Yay! Cool. Thank you. Yay, thank you. We're going camping. Yay! We're going camping. Yay, camping. Yeah, boys. But if you're going to do that, you got to get some sleep. Oh, no. Hurry up and go to bed, and in the morning, we'll pick up and go. Good night, Mom, Dad. Good night. Cool. JJ, I've never been camping. Dad told me he's been camping many times and it's awesome. Let's go to bed soon. Go, go, go. Good night, JJ. Good night. I can't wait for morning. The next day. Wee, wee, wee. We're going camping. Yay, we're going camping. Kids, be quiet. You're giving me a headache. Did you get everything? You didn't leave anything behind? No, Mom, are we coming soon? No, sit down. Kids, don't annoy your mom. Are we there? No. Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? God, you're unbearable. JJ, calm your brother down. What? Mom, are we coming soon? No. Honey, did you bring your tent? Yes, it'll protect us from rain, wind, and wild animals. Are we there? Never mind, darling. And now? I suggested getting a puppy instead of Mikey. Hey! I should have listened to you, son. That's right. Are we gonna be there soon? Son, calm down. Darling, I'm not going with them anymore. Oh, come on, honey. We're already there. We! Yay! We're gonna be here? Cool. Real wilderness, like in survival movies. Yeah, guys, but first you have to put up your tents or you'll get wet and cold at night. Yeah. Tents? Nice. Cool, tents. Let's go see, Mikey. We gotta learn how to pitch a tent. Yes, let's go. In order to put up a tent, you have to work together. First, we make the base and then fix the tent. Help me, honey. Cool! So fast! Wow, that's so cool! Can we get a tent, too? You have to put up your own tent. It's not that hard. Yes, but first find a good spot. Okay! Let's go, JJ! 
let's find the coolest spot on this wild beach. Why don't we set up here? No, let's go closer to the water. Okay, do you even remember how to make a tent? Of course I do, do you? Me too. Then we'll make it quick. It turned out to be harder than we thought. Yeah, much harder. You made it look easier and faster. It's because your dad used to go camping when he was young, and then I got into it. Ah, oh, what a time that was. Cool! I want to always go camping, too! Everything is different in the wilderness. Even the air. There's a special atmosphere. Yes, and the sky is especially clear. Ooh! You can see all the stars and even the International Space Station. I've never seen so many stars in the sky before. And the food here is so much better. Yeah, guys, we had a great day. But it's time to hit the tents. Good night. Good night, Mom, Dad. Let's go to sleep, Mikey. It's been an amazing day. Yeah, you're right. And the car's not that bad. Good night, JJ! Four to six days later. Well, we've had our fun, we've had our swim. I think we can go home now. It's time. Yeah, it was awesome. Yes, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun and interesting here. Now we can safely drive home in our cool car. Yep, our car is still a terrible car. Well, no, we drove this car to this beautiful vacation. Cool. Oh, hmm. Well, that's certainly true, but... Come on, kids, stop complaining. But, Daddy... This car is part of our family now. Get used to it. Come on, get in the car and let's go. Okay, Mom, we're going to go to the car now. Okay. JJ, the parents are right. Let's give this car a chance. A what? We should all be given a chance. Uh... And this is just an old car. That's true, but, Let's uh... just give this car its best years with us. Hmm. Apparently, Mikey's been brainwashed, too. Viewers, what do you think? Is this car good or not? Give us your opinion in the comments. All right, now that everyone's here, let's hit the road. Yeah! Riverfish is good, of course, but I wouldn't mind a burger. <gasps> Burgers! Wait. Burgers, yeah! Wait a second. What's wrong? Oh, no! It brakes aren't working! What? Oh, my God! <gasps> Mommy! Daddy! Oh, my God! Oh, what happened? Hmm, where is everybody? Uh, oh my god, the car has been turned into scrap metal. We were lucky we were thrown outside, or we would have been crushed like that car. Mikey, wake up. Oh, hmm. How are you feeling? I have a bad headache and right leg pain. Oh, I have a headache too. What happened anyway? Look what's behind you. What? We're still alive with you. JJ, hmm. how could this happen? That's not what we should be thinking about right now. Yeah, we should check to see if our dad's alive. He's been laying like that for a while now. Hope he's okay. I don't see him breathing. Dad, wake up, we need you. Oh, <gasps> kids, what happened? Dad, we had an accident. What? An accident? Yes, Daddy. Where's our mom? Uh, Has she gone somewhere? Hmm. But why? No, I haven't seen her. She's probably still in the car. No, it can't be. Hmm. My love, how could you be in such a monstrous situation? Dad, you need to get her out of the car. You're right, JJ. Yeah. But this is so hard on my heart. Uh, my love, oh no. Mommy! What's wrong with Mommy? Oh no, my honey, my love, my darling. What's wrong? I can't live without you. Mommy, Mommy, wake up. We're all up. You're the only JJ, one sleeping. JJ, stop it. Uh, our mom will never turn on her TV screen again. Wait, why? Oh, how could this happen? Dad. Dad, calm down. I just wanted to go on vacation. Daddy. I'm so sorry to all of you. Dad. Uh, oh, my God. JJ, what went wrong? I don't know. Why is this happening to us? Uh, Why won't mom wake up and our dad fainted? I don't know. Our mom was held hostage in that car. Maybe she got hurt. That could be. Hmm. But then I don't understand why daddy fell asleep again. I don't get it either. We urgently need help, but I don't know what to do. Oh, no. Look. What's wrong? Someone reported us in trouble. Look, it's an ambulance. Oh, my God. They can help us. Yay. I hope everything is going well. These are the best doctors. They will definitely save our parents. JJ, they haven't told us anything in three hours. Yes. I'm getting worried. I don't like it either, Mikey, hmm. but there's nothing left to do but wait. Well, but that anticipation feels like it's squeezing me from the inside out. Oh! I got good news and bad news for you guys. Please start with the good news. The good news is we can bring your father to his senses right now. Wow, that's good. Let's go to the ward. Uh, okay. If that's the good news, what's the bad news? I hope it's not that much of a bad thing. There's our sick one. Daddy, stop sleeping. Oh, hmm. We're worried about you. Wake up. Dad! Dear, I know you've regained consciousness. Stop pretending. Oh! I don't want to live without my wife anymore, Doctor. Daddy, we've waited so long for you. This world is filled with emptiness. By the way, 
You still have your children. Daddy! We're here! Yes, you're probably right, but it's an everlasting wound on my heart. What about the bad news? The bad news is hmm. that you're all mom's never going to be able to come to her senses again. Wait, why? I'm sorry. I can't believe it. It just can't be really, Doctor. I'll leave you to it. Oh my God! This is the worst event of my life. I think you should think about it. Daddy, is mommy no longer with us? Oh, really? Oh, my dear sons. Uh, Yes, our mother is gone. My love left this world so early. Oh. It hurts my heart too much. I don't know what to do now. Daddy, we'll be there for you. Yes. Daddy, we're in pain, too. We'll support you any way we can. Oh, you kids are so good. Yeah. This woman was the brightest star in our lives. Yeah. Let's give her some of our last words. Mommy, you made me the most delicious rice porridge ever. I'll miss you. I will definitely clean our house every day, Mom, to please you. You are not just an ordinary woman, but also a mom and my loving wife. You're the best. Oh, Mommy, it's going to be so hard without you. I will love you all my life. Who's going to make me delicious porridge now? I'll cook for you kids because there's no one else. All right, Dad. Well... Let's stay here a little longer. I don't want to leave Mom. Yeah, I'd like to stay here a little longer, too. Really? I can't know for sure when we'll be here again. Yeah, that's right. So while there's still a chance, even in the rain, I want to stay here. Uh, Who are these guys? Oh, uh, what? Oh, my God. Wow. What are they? Minions? They're kind of weird. What are they going to do? <gasps> oh, my God. Are they trying to resurrect our mom? Yes, and from the looks of it, they did well. I don't know who they are, but thanks so much for the rescue. Mommy, you're back. Darling. Mommy, you really scared us with your absence. We're happy to see you. Thank you, our new yellow friends. What else do they do? I don't know. Well, wait, what? That's the cool Lamborghini. I've been wanting. Yay! Thank you again. Take care, everyone. Such cool guys. Cool. Mom, how are you feeling? JJ, everything is just great. Cool. Look at this. These great guys have helped our family so much. Yeah, that's right. Darling, I'm so happy. I missed all of you, too. Look at this car. It's not a Ferrari, but it's cool, too. They chose this car because it's yellow too. We will ride it and always remember them. <laughs> Mom and Dad, I'm so happy to see you so happy together. We're excited too, JJ. That's for sure. Yay, we're good now. Yes, not only do we have a cool car now, but our... Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope everything's good. Mikey, what are we doing today? You don't want anything? Yeah, JJ, I'd like to go for a walk. Look at the weather outside. Yes, the weather is just beautiful today. JJ, do you think maybe could ask your parents if they want to go for a walk? I think they wouldn't mind, especially that the weather is nice today after so many days of rain. Hi, kids. How are you doing? Is everything okay? We have a proposition for you. Would you like to go for a walk? JJ, look how lucky we are. Yes, of course. We want to go out. That's good. We were actually going to ask you to take a walk, weren't we, JJ? That's good. Then come downstairs. We'll be waiting for you there. Okay, Mom. Mikey, we're so lucky today. We're going for a walk. Yes, you're right. Let's go downstairs. They're waiting for us. Oh, boys, you're already here. Come on, get in your strollers. Okay, Mom. JJ, I'll sit in the left stroller. You don't mind, do you? Of course not, Mikey. You've always liked that stroller, and I'll take my favorite one. Thank you, JJ. Guys, I'm so glad we're all going out together. All right, son, sit down. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Mikey, I'm so glad we have such wonderful parents. Yeah, JJ, I agree with you. They're our best. Honey, where are we going out tonight? I haven't figured it out yet. It's the first nice weather we've had in days. Let's go out and decide as we walk, shall we? All right, let's do that. Let's go. Kids, are you ready? Yes, Daddy. What great weather it is outside. So, any suggestions? Let's go to the park. They should have fixed the playground there by now. Okay, love, let's go. It's finally stopped raining. It's been so long since we've been out for a walk. Yes, dear, we've been looking forward to this weather for a long time. Honey, is it just me? Or is there a strange sound above us? Yeah, I hear that too. Look, what's that over there? Wow, honey, what is it? What? What was that? Where are we? Are you kids okay? Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. Don't worry, we're fine. Where are we? Well, 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 who we got here? Let's take a look. Yeah, we got another Earthling. Mom, Dad, who's that? What do they want from us? Son, they're alien Skibidi toilets. I don't know why they need us, but it's not good. Mom, we're really scared. What should we do? Dude, look, there's kids with them. What are we gonna do with them? Throw them back on the ground? 
Dude, sure. Throw him back. We don't need him. Okay, I'll do it now. Hurry up! We don't have much time! Two hours later. Honey, I'm so happy I met you two years ago. I love you so much. I'm the luckiest man on this planet. Honey, you're amazing. I love you so much too. Thank you for these beautiful two years together. Ouch! Oh no! Oh, where are we? I don't know. What's that sound? I don't know, sweetheart. Let's go check it out. Yeah, honey, let's go. Honey, I'm scared. Who are you? And what are you doing in our fireplace? I'm sorry. We were kidnapped with our parents. And then they were left behind, and we were thrown out of a spaceship and into your chimney. Yes, it was like that. What are you talking about? You've ruined our romantic dinner. Get out of here. Now. And don't let us see you again. Honey, help me kick them out. Ouch! Okay, we're leaving, but don't hurt us. Get out of our house. And don't you dare come back. Go far away. Yeah, so we don't have to see you here. Honey, let's go on to dinner. Yes, darling, let's go inside. Oh, Mikey, what are we gonna do? We don't know where we are. Our parents have been kidnapped. I don't know, JJ. They kicked us out and didn't even believe what we said. Let's think of something. Let's go somewhere. Maybe other people will help us. Yeah, I agree with you, but where do we go now? I don't know, Mikey. Why don't we go to the village? But we're definitely not welcome here. Yes, JJ, let's go to the village. There's a better chance of meeting someone. Then let's hurry. Three hours later. Oh, Mikey, it's starting to rain. We've got to get out of the rain so we don't get sick. Yeah, JJ, you're right. Let's go find shelter and someone to help us. Look, we're in a village. Let's find a house with a light on and ask for help. Yeah, let's look around carefully. I'm soaking wet. We're going to get sick. Don't worry, Mikey. We should definitely find someone here to help us. Yes, I hope so. I'm very scared, and I'm also terribly hungry. We've got to get help fast. I agree with you. I can't wait to find someone. Look, there's a dog. He's so cute. So his owners must be here somewhere, and they'll help us. Oh, I don't think that dog is nice at all. Looks like this dog doesn't have any owners. And it's coming at us. Mikey, hurry up. Run away from it. Run, JJ. I'm coming. She's so mean. Mikey, she's right behind us. JJ, keep up with me or she'll chew you out. Yeah, Mikey, I'm running right behind you. Don't you stop, too. Okay. Oh, no, it's still chasing us. What should we do? Keep up, Mikey. Hurry up. JJ, I'm tired of running. When is she going to get off our backs? Look, JJ, there's a big house over there. Maybe they'll help us. Let's get to it. Oh, no, it's closed, and the dog's coming toward us. Look, JJ, there's a ladder. Let's use it to climb the fence. Mikey, watch out. Jump, JJ. Whew, I did it. Ha, you can't get us now. We got away from you. JJ, we did it. We got away from that evil dog. Yeah, Mikey, we did it. Now we can relax. What? What's that sound? Oh, no, she dug a hole under the fence. What are we going to do now? I don't know, JJ. Go away, you evil dog. Get away from us. We're not tasty. Go away. JJ, hurry up and get to the door. I'll ring it. Maybe someone will save us. Mikey, we're trapped. What's going to happen to us now? We have nowhere to go. Somebody, save us. Get out of my garden, you evil dog. Or I'll shoot you. Mikey, are you seeing this? Yes, JJ. The dog is gone. We're saved. Thank you, ma'am. Kids, my name is Speaker Woman. What are you doing in my garden? Hello, I'm Mikey, and this is JJ. We lost our parents. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Um, my condolences to you. Are you hungry? Yeah, we could use a meal. I can't remember when we've eaten. Have a seat. I'll make you something. JJ, I think we're in luck. Yeah, Mikey. I agree with you. Let's get to the table. I've already sat down, JJ. Why don't you sit down? Kids, I've prepared a humble supper for you. Bon appétit. It smells delicious. We're so glad we met you. Thank you so much. JJ, and here's your dish. Enjoy. Wow, Mikey is right. This looks just gorgeous and appetizing. Thank you so much. You are so kind to us. You're welcome. Let's eat and tell me what happened to you. Where are your parents? All right, we'll tell you all about it. It's just so delicious. Thank you again. Mikey, please tell Speaker Woman what happened to us. We went for a walk with our parents. 
And then we were kidnapped. Our parents were left in a spaceship, and we were thrown out. We met a couple, but they kicked us out. Then we walked for a long time and came to your village. A dog started running after us, and we came to you. Oh, that sounds awful. Well, until we find your parents, you can stay with me. I have just the perfect room for you, and I think you're gonna love it. So come on up. I'll show you where everything is and where you'll live. Come on, follow me. Come on, JJ. Let's go see the rooms. Yeah, Mikey, I'm right behind you. Take your pick. Here's the first one. Come on in. Feel free to come into the room. Yeah, okay. Wow, this room looks amazing. I love it. I take it this will be your room. JJ, good. Mikey, let me show you your room now. Yeah, that'll be my room. Mikey, let's go see yours. This way. Come on in. Mikey, your room will be across from JJ's. Come on, get in there. Wow, this is so cool. I love it. Speaker woman, thank you so much again for helping us out. You're very nice. If I understand you guys correctly, you like to play together, don't you? Yes, we love to play together. Am I right? Of course. Then so I'll show you a room where you can play together. Do you agree? Yes. Of course we agree. Then come with me. I'll show you this room. Guys, there's your room. Oh, so Mikey, shall we go? Yeah, let's go look around the room. Wow, it's so spacious. And look, it's a slide. Yay. I hope you enjoy this room. Hmm. There's plenty of room and there are toys to play with. Yeah. Yes, we noticed that huge, awesome slide right away. Thank you. You're welcome. He he he. Sit down, rest both of you, and then I'll help you both find your parents. Really? I'll help you both. Oh my God. Mikey, this is unbelievable. Behave yourselves. Okay. This is your room now, so you can do what you want, but don't forget to clean up after yourself. That's right. Good night. Night. Sleep well. Best dreams to you. See you tomorrow. JJ, we're very very lucky. Oh, uh, what? Look at this. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Like this table. Yes. We got caught in such a downpour, but now we're in such a great room. Cool. Look at that toy chest. Hmm. It's full of them. That's a lot. I'll say more. There are two of these chests of drawers. Wow, Mikey. There's also an awesome cat clock. Yeah, it's fun. Let's go jump off the slide already. Wait, what? JJ, I'm totally serious right now. I think it's dangerous. Well, if you're so worried, I'll jump off this half block. Oh my god. Look. Uh, Yay. what's going on? You can jump high here. Oh, how high can I jump? Yeah. Ouch. Huh. Are you okay? Yeah, come here. Ouch. Look, it even has board games. Awesome. Cool. I don't think we'll be bored, that's for sure. Yeah. There are pencils here. Let's draw. Yes, we will paint, but not now. But it's so cool. I want it now. We'll get there, JJ. Uh, Let's draw all the Minecraft mobs. Let's do it. It's going to be inc- Good morning, viewers. You all have no idea what news I have today. I'm having a baby brother or sister. But honestly, I'd like a little brother for myself. We were told it was 100% going to be a boy. Nice. I was so happy when I heard that. Oh, darling. Your mom is due to have a baby any day now. Cool. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Let's take care of her before it's labor time. Mom, is it hard for you to walk? Yeah, just a little bit, honey. Honey, I'll carry you. Don't worry. Are you sure you won't have a hard What's time? What's the trouble, dear? Oh. You're still as light as a feather as ever. <laughs> wow, Daddy, you're so strong. Yeah. I want to help my mom. Mom too. Of course we're gonna need your help too, JJ. Yay, where do we start? First, I just need to get your mom into the bedroom and let her rest. Uh, okay. But darling, I must make dinner for you both. In your condition, rest is important. Yes, mom, rest. Well done, JJ. Daddy, here you are helping mommy move around the house. Yes, I have no choice but to help your beautiful mom right now. What can I do to help? Well... My dears, I'd like a snack. I'm a little hungry. Oh my god. No problem, my love. <clears throat> JJ, let's go out in the hallway for a minute. Okay, dad. Honey, have some relaxation. And don't worry about a thing. Uh, well, JJ, as you may have noticed, we don't have anything to eat at home. Yes, Dad, I noticed. What are we going to do? So go to the store and get your mom some fruit, okay? Sure, I'll go to the store, no problem. That's great. We seem to have one carrot and a loaf left in the fridge, but I don't think your mom would want that. Hmm, I understand her. So hurry up. Okay, Dad. And don't buy your mom peaches, you understand? Yeah, one foot here, one foot there. Before they know it, I'll be coming home with a bag of delicious fruit. I can't wait for the baby to be born. I I wonder if what the mom eats makes the baby feel bad or good. Two hours later. There was a terrible line of grandmothers at the store. They take so long to pick lottery tickets. God! Oh, I hope I'm not too late. I bought so much stuff. I hope my mom likes it. Honey, I'm very comfortable. Hey, everybody, I'm back. I'm glad to hear that. Dad, Mom. Oh, JJ. I bought fruit. Oh, you're my good son. Only for you, Mommy. There aren't any peaches here, are there? Nope. I was just dreaming of fruit. Thank you, my sunshine. I hope the little one enjoys it. So, JJ, we're here to decide what we're going to name your little brother. Oh! Those are the options. Uh... Honey. 
What do you think of the name Bob? Sounds interesting. No, huh? I don't want that name. And what do you think, JJ? No, I'm picturing SpongeBob, not my brother. Okay, well, since no one likes that name, I'm crossing it off. Uh, okay. So, what do you think of the name, John? Sounds noble. No, we have an ordinary boy, not a king. I don't like it either. JJ and John, they don't sound compatible at all. We're going to get confused. Okay, okay, I love that name. Oh, sorry, Dad. It's okay, JJ. And that leaves us with the last name, Mikey. Oh! That's the name I like the best. So it's settled. Our son will be named Mikey. Oh, my God. You like it, JJ? I'm extremely pleased. I love the name, too. Your mom picked out that name. Yes, your father chose a name for you. Really? But this time, I'm choosing the name for my second son. Nevertheless, the time is getting late. It's bedtime for the kids. Wow. Wow, I didn't realize it was getting dark. Thanks for your help, son. Yes, thank you. I'm always happy to help you both. Oh, what a wonderful son we have. Oh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. JJ, Mommy and Daddy love you so much. Sleep sweetly, JJ. And it's time for us to go to bed. Good night. Oh, this has been an extremely stressful day for me. Hopefully in a few days I won't be living alone in this room. It'll be so nice to fall asleep in the two of us. I'm excited. Good night to me. <coughs> oh, good morning. I had such a wonderful dream that my brother was born. Huh, but it's just a dream. I wonder what's for breakfast. Uh, what's going on? JJ, JJ. What's up? Your mom, baby. Huh, what? Let's go downstairs. Dad, calm down. Mm. Let's go downstairs, all right? Uh, yeah, sure, let's hurry up. What could have happened that you said our mom a baby? Oh no, JJ, I meant the baby is coming soon. Oh! My dearly beloved, this time has come. Oh, mommy. Do something. And I'm in a total panic. Dad, call an ambulance. That's right, JJ, they'll help her. Yeah, let's hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Please have them respond right away. Uh... Hello, you've reached the ambulance. Hello? Do you need help? Yes, my wife is in labor. Come as soon as possible. Oh, our car is on its way. Oh, and they work promptly. Awesome. Yes, the ambulance should be here soon. We need to be on the lookout so we don't miss it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the only way we can help your mom right oh, now. Oh, Dad, that must be the ambulance. Yeah, let's go outside and take a look. Let's go. Wow, JJ, you were right. The ambulance is here. They came so fast. Great job. Hi, were you the one who called the ambulance? Yes, it was us. All right, well, where's the patient? Mommy's lying in the bedroom. You're going to help my mom, right? Yes, of course. I'll try. Let's go. Yeah. I need to see your condition right away first. Hmm. Oh, my love, are you okay? Not so much. Hello. Hello, how are you feeling? Hmm. I'm having an incredibly hard time right now. I got it. Family, I'm sorry, but I have to get your mom to the hospital right now. Oh, but why? If we don't, she could be very badly hurt. Oh, my God. I don't want my mom to get too sick. Can we go with her? No, and no, absolutely not. My darlings, I'll be all right. Your mom needs to rest. I'm really worried. I want to go with her. I'm going too. Ouch. This could hurt your mom. Stop. So calm down and come to the hospital. But why? Listen, both of you, worrying and yelling is not going to make your mom feel better. Oh, no. I'll see you at the hospital. Uh, okay. I'm so scared for her. Dad, let's trust the doctors. But JJ... They know best how to help our mom. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, but we haven't found out which hospital she'll be in. Oh, I totally forgot to ask about that. We should hurry and get the car. Oh my God, he's going so fast. Don't worry, we can still see him. Keep up, JJ. Phew, we ran non-stop for almost an hour. It was awful. The doctors had just recently taken my mom into that room, but nothing else was happening. Childbirth is a long procedure. I'm getting a little worried. JJ, I'm worried too, but there's nothing we can do but wait. Is mom going to be okay? Yeah, they're professionals here, so I think we'll be fine. Oh! Is the labor really over? Yes, the labor went well for the baby. Oh my God! But unfortunately, not successful for the mother. Wait, what? I'm sorry, but this baby is the only thing I can give you right now. Wait. Come on, baby. Get on your feet. This is your family. It's good to see you all. My love. I can't guarantee anything. We're fighting for her life, but you should probably prepare for the worst. I have to see her right away. You can't do that. If you don't understand with words, wait. I'll go in by force. <gasps> my love, I'm coming. Oh my God. We're in the middle of a major operation and no outsiders are allowed in. You can't come in, okay? Okay. Help her, Charlie, we need you. Let's hurry. Well, it's over. Daddy, what's wrong with mommy? We probably won't see our mom again. Stop. What? But I didn't see her anyway. Ah, that's right, Mikey. <laughs> you didn't see the mom who gave you that beautiful name. Oh. So my name is Mikey? Yeah, that's the name our mom came up with for it you. It saddens me that I won't even be able to see her. I'm still hoping for the best. Still, our mother couldn't survive childbirth, Mikey. JJ, I can't believe it. I was just born and already such misfortunes. Hmm. And also, just look at the condition of our father. Uh, it was the hardest thing for Dad to hear the news about. This is just terrible. I have no idea how to cheer him up. He's been sitting like this for days. Oh. Oh, Mommy, if only you were nearby. Dad wouldn't watch such sad cartoons. JJ, this can't go on. Uh. I'm very sad and I'm very hungry. Do we have anything to eat at home? Dad seemed to say that there was something edible in the refrigerator. Well. But I'm not sure I 
need to check it out. Oh, huh. So what is here? Wow, there's a whole loaf of bread and one carrot. What's up? I'll share my bread with you, Mikey. So what about you? I'm already an adult, Mikey, and you're still a baby. You need to eat a lot. Thank you, JJ. Bon appetit. <gasps> and you only ate one carrot, Nightmare. It's okay. Okay, JJ, what do we do? Well, I have a suggestion to go outside and freshen up. Wow. What do you think about it? Oh, hmm. Huh. I think this is a good idea. Cool. It's too stuffy at home right now. Let's go for a walk. Let's leave Dad with his thoughts. Yes, let's go quickly. Yeah, I think going for a walk now is the best thing we can do. Yay! Oh, and the weather is so nice now. Yes, but just recently it was raining heavily. But the weather has now improved. And this means that we can have a great time on the playground. I've been dreaming of playing here for a long time, JJ. Then let's go. Three hours later. I've already played enough, but Mikey has more than enough energy. When are you going to come down to Earth? Ha, ah, but I'm already on the Earth, JJ. Ha, huh, what? But to be serious, I'm not tired. Mikey, look at the sky. The sun has already gone to bed, and it's time for us to return home. Oh, hmm. I'm not kidding. Come down. Well, the sky really is already dark. Yeah. Okay, today I had enough time to play. Oh, let's go home quickly. I'm tired. I hope we will repeat this walk tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yay, finally. Our dad has most likely already lost us. Oh, I can't even imagine what we should do with him in his condition. Let's try to cheer him up tomorrow. Uh, for example, let's all go for a walk together. Yes, we will do that. Hmm, where's Dad? Maybe he went upstairs. Hmm, I don't even know. Let's take a look around here. He's not in the bedroom. Yes, JJ, but there's something on the floor. Look, uh, what is that? Mikey, it's a book. But why is there a book here and our dad is not there? I don't know. And how can we use it? I can read this. Well, what are you waiting for then? Read on. Let's see what's written here. My sons, sorry, but I can't live without your mom. Oh my God. I'm leaving for her, your beloved daddy. Why daddy? Well, Mikey, something terrible happened to our dad. We have to find him. Wait, why? He wrote here that he could not live apart from our mother. Oh no. He was supposed to stay somewhere at home. I didn't see him go outside. Oh, hmm. JJ, I bring bad luck. Wait, what? As soon as I appeared with you, everything became so bad. Forgive me. I'm really sorry. Mikey, it's not your fault. I'm not so sure about that. But Mikey... Oh, okay. Where could he be? Mikey, I'm sure he wouldn't come into our room. Hmm. Let's go check it in the garage. JJ, I find it hard to believe that dad would do anything. Hmm. Oh, this can't be... Oh my god. Daddy, why? Mikey. Daddy, please wake up. Daddy, don't leave us. We can't live without you. Get up. JJ, it's no use. No, I don't believe that dad is no more. JJ, our dad is reunited with our mom forever. Uh, it's sad, but we should be happy for them. I have no idea what we should do now. First, let's bury him. It's terrible. First, we didn't have a mom, and now we don't have a dad. Oh, JJ, we're all about ourselves now. I can't find a place for myself. I hear dad's voice and his steps everywhere. Oh! <laughs> uh, what? What was it now? What's up, JJ? I'm not sure, but I heard something. Hmm, I didn't hear anything. Oh, my God. <gasps> Mikey, let's run home. Why are you talking so calmly? You're wrong. I'm panicking so much. Okay, let's go. Mikey, don't we really think that's all? JJ, this can't be a joint hallucination. It's rare. I really hope you're right. Phew, JJ, but what was that? I don't know. <gasps> What if it was some kind of monster? Uh, well, that sounds logical. Hmm. Oh, JJ, be quiet. Oh, uh, what? Oh, my God. You also didn't hear someone walking upstairs. Yeah. I really don't like this, JJ. I agree. I'm scared. Mikey, don't be afraid. I'm still next to you. What is that? Wait, what? Mom and Dad? Sorry for scaring you guys. We didn't mean to scare you. You are ghosts. Yes, but we are still us. Yes, it is. Uh. Our parents are with us again. Yes, exactly. You are with us again. Yay. Now you won't leave? For now, we are staying here with you both. Yes, we will leave only when the time comes. Oh. Yes, but you don't have to worry about it now. Hmm. By the way, my kids, are you hungry? Oh, yes, I'm very hungry. And I'm hungry, too. Too. Mom will cook a meal. JJ, let's go to the table. Uh, okay. Mikey, this is all so amazing. Yes, we couldn't believe it ourselves when we saw ourselves like that. Since we had such a chance, we would spend this time with our children. Mom, thanks to this, I can see how beautiful you were. <laughs> yes, that's a fact. Yeah. Thank you, my loves, and bon appetit. Oh! Wow, thanks, Mom. The food looks amazing. I agree. I can't wait to taste everything. <laughs> Me too. Thanks, Mom, for the food. <laughs> and in general, thank you for not forgetting about us. I couldn't forget about my beloved sons. We couldn't leave you. You are next to us now, and and this is the most important thing. Yes, we're glad you're here. Oh, kids. We are happy too. The next day. We play as a family on our playground. I've been dreaming about this ever since mom got pregnant with Mikey. <laughs> JJ, I dreamed about this too. Ha, ah, daddy, pump me harder. Mikey, I'm doing everything I can. <laughs> JJ, this is so cool. Cool, Mikey. Will you let me swing on the swing too? Yes, sure. Mommy, I'm so happy. Oh, that was my best sale. <laughs> uh, what? Mikey, it's my turn no, now. No, my dad pushes me on the swing. Mom, Wait. Mikey won't share with me. Dad, I've played enough. Oh! But my grandmother told me that wild mushroom soup was a bad idea. Why didn't I listen to her? I'm just going crazy. Terrible. Nightmare. One week later. 
JJ, this week has been the best week of my life. Yeah. And this is all thanks to you, my parents. You're welcome. Thanks to both of you. JJ, I wish this would never end. Yes, we would like the same too. Cool. But unfortunately, it's time for us to say goodbye to each other. Wait, why? Ghosts cannot stay in the world of the living for long. They have been waiting for us in another world for a long time. Mikey, apparently it's time to say goodbye to them. Hmm. We are really sad to leave, but we have no choice. Yes, we love you. Goodbye. Bye. Mommy, Daddy, wait. <laughs> Come back, please. JJ, they said they would leave us. I remember that. I didn't think it would come so soon. Yeah. I'm incredibly happy that I was able to meet them, but I'm also incredibly upset. Now this one will be so empty. Yes, but JJ, we must... Hey, hey, how's my favorite store doing around here? Mikey, we're at our dad's work. Cool. Yeah, look what I found on his desk. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mikey, we can't drink that stuff. Calm down. I was just kidding. What's up, Dad? Hey. Oh, hey, I'm glad to see you here. Yeah. Look at this cool new product announcement I'm launching. Wow, Dad, you're going to make more money? Of course. More money, more opportunities. Cool. This looks interesting. It already makes me want to buy it. Huh, okay, enough flattery. Hey, speaker man. But I'm sincere. Uh. Hey. What did you come up with this time? Uh, Are you poisoning people with commercials again? Huh, is your store still empty? My store is better than yours. Oh, my God. He's mad because my business is more successful than uh, that's his. That's understandable. Hmm. Look at the line at the store. All these people love my store. Hey, everybody. Oh. Oh, hello, my bunny. Hi, Mom. Hey. Hello, my favorite children. Mom, is something wrong? This is something cool. I have great news. My good friend is coming to visit me. <gasps> wow, that friend of yours? Mom, who is she? Her name is Speaker Woman, and we went to study together. Wow, a study buddy. She's really cool. You'll both love her. I can't wait to see her. Wait for me. Oh, mommy. My little bunny, did you hear something? Mm, no. Help me. Oh, Mom, we're almost home. Oh, my darling. What would you like for dinner? Help. I'd like a chicken. I'm so glad it's over. Where's Mikey? Mom, we lost Mikey. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? He's not with us. Look. Oh, no. Don't panic. I'm here. Oh, my God. Well, now that that's settled, let's go inside. I still have so much to get done. Uh, okay. Mom, how long till she gets here? Well. Let's talk about it in the house. Okay, Dad. Come on. Come in already. I'm really tired. I've been waiting for all of you. Huh, so, Mom, when's your friend due? She should be here any minute. Oh. Oh, I'm running out of time. Daddy, can you help Mommy? <clears throat> Oh, someone's here. Oh, that must be her. Mom, it's gonna be okay. Yay! Hello, my dear. Oh, my God. Long time no see, girlfriend. Oh, holy beauty. Oh, what? This woman is so beautiful. <gasps> uh, what's wrong? Hmm. Mom, Dad's fainting. He was saying something about beauty. You go meet my kids, and I'll wake this fool up. Mommy, Daddy's so weird. Get up. Hello, lady. What kind of example are you setting for our children? It's okay, honey. It's just, uh... It's just what? I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, okay, hello. Hello, kid. You know you are a very beautiful woman. Oh, JJ, don't embarrass our guest. Uh, where did Dad go? Oh, yes, that man. He's gone to bed. It's okay. What a blessing. I was worried about him. Hey, kids, show me what you got here. No problem. Our mom's friend. My name is Ellie. Wow. Our mom told us your name is Speaker Woman. There's a lot your mom doesn't know. <gasps> oh, why is Daddy peeking? What's up, JJ? Mikey, did you see that? What? Dad just overheard us talking. Let's take a look at the house already. Okay, okay. Hello? Hi. JJ, Daddy's in his room. It's okay. Hmm, uh, I definitely saw him there, but okay. Maybe you're imagining things. Maybe. You kids have such a beautiful big house. Yay, thank you. I'm even a little jealous. Oh, and that huge balcony. Wow. Don't worry, our house. It's your house. Yes, you can feel right at home here. Awesome. Thank you, boys, for such a nice welcome. You're welcome. We're happy to have you here. If you have any questions, tell us. Mikey, take your time. What's up? I still think Dad's reaction was a little too weird. He was probably just pleasantly surprised. Hmm, don't you think he's falling in love with this, Ellie? JJ, it can't be. Well, it could be. <gasps> Aren't you ashamed to say such words? Mikey. What? I just can't get out of my head the way he greeted her in the hallway. What if she was just his study buddy, too? No, I don't believe it. Oh, so, uh, JJ, you want us to suspect our dad of something? Mikey, no. Ouch. That's what you meant. He had hearts in his eyes. What else could it be? Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Oh, I really hope you're right. Hmm. We'll see what happens next. We're all gathered together for a very special dinner. Mikey, how's the food taste? Good? Yeah, it's delicious, JJ. Oh, I'm full. Thank you for such a wonderful dinner. By the way, I almost forgot about the gifts I picked up especially for you, little ones. Wow, that's so cool, Ellie. I left them in the bedroom. Wait a little while and I'll bring them to you. Okay. Okay, okay. It's okay, we'll wait. What do you think she's going to give us? Uh, I want to help our lovely guest. The gifts are probably heavy. I'll go and help her. Uh, Mikey, don't you think that's a little suspicious? Yeah, I don't like this kind of behavior from our dad. That's what I've been telling you. Well... I'll quietly check what they're doing in there. Oh, hmm. Mikey, there's something weird going on, but I can't see it. I'm gonna get a little closer. Kids! JJ! Oh my god. Mom, what's wrong? Didn't I teach you guys to pick up after yourselves? Uh, come on, come on, clean it up. Oh, all right, Mom. Yes, Mom, we'll clean it up. Don't worry. No problem. And to make sure that doesn't happen again, okay? Yes, Mom. JJ, I got it all together. Let's go throw out the trash. Mom, we'll be right back. Mikey, wait for me. JJ, of course I'll wait for you. Nice. JJ, listen, you're right. Dad does act really weird when Ellie's around. Mikey, that's what I told you. <gasps> that's no reason to break down our fence at all. I'm too angry. Holy turn. I never liked that fence anyway. Interesting, interesting. Let's go take out the trash. 
Mikey, because of this friend of our mom's, we're going to sleep in the attic with you. Oh, huh. Hmm. You think that's cool? No, I don't think it's cool. It's dusty and dark and I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. But at least we have a whole toy chest here. Mikey, that's cool, but... Wait a second, look. Oh, it's Ellie. But where is she going in the middle of the night? Hmm, that's highly suspicious. Let's follow her. Yeah, come on, let's be ninjas in the shadows. Oh, uh, what? We're quiet and inconspicuous. Uh, oh my god. What's going on in there? They just kissed, Mikey. <gasps> where are they going now? I don't know, but we just have to follow them. JJ, just be careful. Don't worry, I'm the quietest ninja in the world. Okay, JJ. They're outside. Wait, why? Are they just gonna take off now? What? I don't think so, as there is no sound of a car engine. Oh my god. What is that? I don't think they're just having a nice chat in the car there. How could you, Dad? Oh! I wanted to be like you. Mikey, it's not worth it. Calm down. Okay, JJ, I'll just tell our mom. No, no, Mikey, wait. How can I wait in this situation? Hmm. Let's just say it in the morning. Now's not a good time. You're awfully right, JJ. Don't be sad, Mikey. I just can't believe Dad did that. I understand how you feel right now. I feel the same way. We'd better get back to the room before we're discovered. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Mommy, sleep sweetly. Mikey, I really don't want to upset our mom. JJ! Mommy needs to know the truth, don't you think? Yeah, you're right, Mikey. Night. Good night. Tomorrow's a busy day. Mikey, we gotta go tell Mom what Dad did. Yeah, let's go tell her. I don't want this to go on. Mom, Mom, there's something we need to tell you. Dad's in there. He's... Honey, I have something to tell you. I don't love you anymore. I'm filing for divorce. What? Why are you doing this to me? What's wrong with you? I did everything I could to make you happy with me. Mom, it's all her fault. She's the one who made Daddy go to her. It's all because of you. You chicken, take that. Ha ha, your husband will be mine, now. Mom, be smarter than her. Don't fight, please. Hey Dad, you, stop look it. What you've done. All right, it's TV all your woman, fault. get out of my house. I don't ever want to see you here again. What? That's it, then we're leaving. Kids, get out of here, quick. We're not living here anymore. What? But mom, where are we gonna live now? Yes, mom, where are we going to go now? Don't worry, kids. I'll figure something out, and you can forget your stupid father. Mom, but how could it be? Are we gonna live on the street? I'm so cold, and it's raining. Mom, how long are we going to be outside? I understand you. Son, we're cold too, but you know what? The important thing is that we're all together and we'll find someone better than your father. Yes, Mom, I agree with you. We'll definitely find someone better. Oh, look, it's TV Man. Hi, TV Man. Hello, TV Woman. Why are you sitting in the rain? We had a disaster. My now ex-husband kicked us out of the house and we have nowhere to go. What? That's just awful. Let's go to my house then. I won't let you live on the street. Mikey, Mom did just like she said. She found us a place to live. That's just great. I agree with you. JJ, we won't have to depend on our stupid father anymore. Oh, look, kids. It's just about to stop raining. That's a good sign. Yes, Mom, that's a good sign. Wow, what a beautiful house. Is this where we're going to live? Yes, you're going to live here. Let's go inside. Mom, let's go. Yes, I'm coming. Just thinking about my own thing. Come on inside. We're going to get a tour. Come on in. Don't be shy. Look, this is the living room, and a little further, the kitchen. The bedrooms are upstairs, not rich. But you can live, as they say, in a small, but not in a fence. The main thing is that there's a roof over your head. Thank you very much. We heard you have a business problem. Our mom knows about it. I'm sure she can help you. Mikey, let's go upstairs and play. Let's not disturb the adults. Mikey, look, there's a laptop. Let's play on it. Yeah, let's play. JJ, do you miss your daddy? Dad? No, I don't miss him. He hurt our mom. Now, I don't want anything more to do with him. Yes, you're right. He did a very bad thing to us, much less our mom. JJ, we have to get back at him somehow. Yes, but how? Let's give him the best publicity ever, so he'll have lots of customers. Yeah, let's do it. Mikey, help me. Okay. Guys, we came up with something. If you pull this lever, it will upgrade the store, and it'll become mega popular. Hey, you! Losers! How's your clientele coming along? A lot today? Or is one person a record for you? Ha 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 ha! Now we're gonna find out who's the loser. Come on, get in the store. Our store is about to be updated. Guys, look at our store now. Let's open up. I'm sure we'll have lots of customers. Hey, Dad, how's it going with the customers? You got a lot of them now. Oh, no, my customers, where are you going? Stay, we'll give you a discount. Dear guests, come into our store. We have a lot of new and cheap equipment. Oh, no, how dare you take our visitors away from us? Mom, you're the best. 
Look how many visitors we have now. You did it. You're just a loser. How could I have chosen you? I'm leaving. Bye. Mikey, look. Ellie's leaving our dad. Hee hee hee. JJ, that's what he should do. He got his. Look, we've got all the customers. We're gonna be rich. Yay. Kids, thank you so much for your help. If it wasn't for you and your mom, I wouldn't have this right now. Thank you again. Oh, you decided yes, that? Yes, that's what I decided. No way! So that's what's going to happen. Who's gonna ask me? It's your responsibility! <sighs> JJ, this is a nightmare! Our parents have been fighting for hours! How can they fight so long? I don't like it at all! What could have happened to make them fight so much? Children! Oh, boys. oh so they called us! Well, shall we go downstairs? We have no choice. Uh, Let's go to the first floor. I hope it doesn't get any worse. Yeah, JJ. I hope it's not that bad. Hmm, it sounds like it's getting a lot worse. One who broke those boundaries the other day. You weren't supposed to care, were you? What? Oh, Mom, what do you Dad. know about me? Good morning, guys. We've had a very unpleasant situation with your mom. You mean it doesn't affect you at all? Yeah, I was going to suggest we talk about it at the table. I didn't expect you to be so smart. Oh, I don't like this Are at all. Are you always going to hold me up against the window? Oh, okay, enough of this speaker man bickering. All right. Kids, your dad and I have talked, and we've decided to split up. We can't live together anymore. Yeah, it's too hard on both of us. Mom and Dad, maybe you'll reconsider. It's just torture for me. <sighs> Kids, we're filing for divorce, and a man's gonna be here soon to help us with the paperwork. Um, hello? It's him. Oh, here he comes. Is there anyone here? Mikey, that's just awful. Yeah, I can't believe it. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello again. Did you bring everything you need for our divorce? I've prepared the necessary documents for you. What's going to happen to our children? Mikey, I'm worried. Oh, no. Are we going to have to split them up? Now JJ's boy will live with his father, Speaker Man. What? And Mikey's boy will live with his mom, TV woman. <gasps> oh, okay, that's fair. It's better this way. I don't like it at all. Well, now that we've settled that... Mom, don't separate me and Mikey. I'm sorry, JJ. I'll go on with my business. JJ, it looks like it's over. Oh. Call me when you sell the house. What? I'll split the money between you. Okay. Goodbye. Mom and Dad, are you both going to sell our house? Yeah, JJ, we'll do it. The next day... Mikey, you okay? Yeah, Mom, I can handle it. All right, put everything in the trunk. JJ, how many of your boxes do you have left? Three boxes, Dad. Okay, I'll help you carry them. Mikey, listen to me. Hmm. I'm sorry you're gonna have to separate from JJ. Mom, you and Dad had a fight, but for some reason JJ and I have to break up. I'm very sad because I don't understand why you both are doing this. Mikey, we're brothers, right? It was. And we've had a lot of adventures, haven't we? It was great! You know, I think this is all just temporary. Oh, it's really bothering me. I know how you feel. I feel really sad and I'm a little angry. Oh! How about you? I'm not comfortable with what's going on either. Oh, it's sad. But we can always see each other, right? Huh, of course. Yeah, sure, come here and give me a hug. I'll hug you like it's the last time. Of course. Mikey, I'll definitely come visit you. Okay, I'll be waiting. And you come visit me, we'll play together. JJ, I'm really gonna miss you. I'll miss you too. I don't really feel like saying goodbye. I don't want to leave at all. My children, I'm incredibly sad too, but these are our circumstances. <laughs> we gotta go, Mikey. Oh, I guess it's time, Mikey. I can't believe this is happening to us. I'm gonna miss you, brother. Mikey, let's go. I'll see you around. I'm gonna miss you too. Bye. Bye, Mikey. <laughs> Oh, why does everything have to be like this right now? That's life, JJ. Dad, what did you and Mom fight about? Hmm. Tell me, please. I want to know. Why did your mom and I fight? Yeah. I don't even know why. It started out as a little thing, and it turned into a big drama. Oh, is that what happened? We should get going. Oh, let's go, Dad. Let's not talk about this for a while, okay? Uh, okay. Hours later. Daddy, is this our house? Yeah, we're gonna live here now, son. Wow, it's pretty big and pretty. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been in this house. Wow, really? Yes. I want to see it already. All right, let's go. Yeah. This is our yard. Oh, why didn't we live here before? Well, that's because it wasn't necessary. This house is huge. And there's a lot of boxes. There's more of them than I thought. Don't worry, the two of us can unload them in no time. That's right, Dad. Well done. I can't wait to see what's inside. It's time to show you the inside of your new house. Oh my god. Okay, here's the hallway. Wow, lots of different shelves. And then, there's the kitchen. It's very spacious, I like it. And next to the kitchen, a little dining area. Huh, Dad likes to have a lot of greenery around. I'm glad you like wow, it. Wow, is this the living room? Yes. There's a giant TV. Yeah, well, let's keep going. Where do we go now? I'm gonna show show you your new room. Wow, cool, let's go. I did it in your favorite color, by the way. Is it really all red? Yeah, it's really red in there. Oh, Dad, thank you so much for doing this for me. Huh, I'm happy to do it for you. I'll see you later. All right, I'll see you later.
Oh, wow. And this is my room now. That's really cool. I even have my own computer here. These posters look really cool. But still, without this thing, it won't be the same. There's a picture of me and Mikey together missing here. Oh, how you doing in there now, bro? Oh, JJ, my mom and I just got to our new house. I have my own room, but it's all red like you. It's been a few hours and I already miss you beyond belief. Oh, my mom left my phone here, so I can call you. Exactly as he suggested, we'll call and go for a walk together. Oh, I can't get through this level for the third time. I can't keep losing, it's an easy game. Come on, Piggy, jump. You have to get all the coins for this level without hitting a single obstacle. Do you understand? Oh, I'm almost there. The end of this level should be just around the corner. Come on, come on. Oh, it's Mikey. Oh, hey, Mikey. You look great. Hey, JJ, busy right now? No, I'm not doing anything. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. That's great. Great, I have a proposition for you. I'm listening. Let's meet at the park today. Go for a walk, play together. Wow, that sounds really cool. I agree, let's go over there. Yay, I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Well, I've arrived at the park entrance. Mikey should be waiting for me inside. So I think I'm gonna have to hurry up a little bit. It's called Yellowstone. I hope they don't sell us Yellowstones as souvenirs. Huh, otherwise it'll be a fiasco. So, where's Mikey? I'm not gonna get lost out here, am I? It's a pretty dense forest. Mikey, where are you? Oh, Mikey. JJ, it's you. Yay, I found you. Cool. I thought I'd be lost here sooner than I'd find you. I haven't seen you in half a day, but it feels like forever. I'm telling you, it's been a rough time for me, too. I saw something interesting around here. Let's go over there. What's so interesting? There's a paddock with horses in it. Hmm. Well, what's so interesting about them? They're incredibly cute and also incredibly smelly. Uh, I don't really feel like going there anymore. Well, I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the woods. Uh... Oh, Mikey, wait for me. Huh, don't worry, we're here. Uh... Welcome to the horse zone. Whoa, it does smell a little stinky in here. You'll get used to it in no time. Look. Wow, one hour for a one diamond. Hmm, is it expensive? I think we can afford it. Cool, I'd love to ride these beautiful creatures. Actually, riding horses is very romantic. Mikey, I got a great idea. Wow, tell me about it. Let's try to restore our parents' love for each other back. Oh, hmm, how are we gonna do this? We'll do it with horseback riding. Oh, yeah, let's do it. The next day. So I'm here, and I'm not alone. Mom, what do you think of this place? Have you been here before? No, I've never been here. This is Yellowstone Park. Oh, what an interesting name. They say it's got a beautiful lake and a horse corral. Cool, I want to see the lake. Let's go. Mikey should be around by now with our dad. Hopefully the plan will work. Oh, I can see the water. Oh, what do you think of this lake, Mom? It's beautiful. It's beautiful here in this park, isn't it? Yeah, it's got some pretty lush plants, just like your dad likes. Oh, let's take a closer look at the lake. Again? Oh, it's so blue and beautiful. Huh, JJ, you like this lake so much? Oh, look, who's that over there? Who's there? Oh, it's Mikey and Daddy. What? It's so cool that we're all going to walk around this park together. Hmm, I didn't see that coming. I think it's going to be great. Dad, JJ's here. Hurry up. Hey, guys. JJ, hi. Oh, what's she doing here? Oh, that's what I call a greeting. You don't like it again, do you? Why did you bring us here? I don't want to be here with that speaker. What? Mikey, are we going according to plan? Yes. Well... We'd like you two to make up with each other. It's true. So Mikey and I have arranged a little surprise for you. I'm taking us to where the surprise is. Go with her? Ugh. I'm glad we're all walking in the park together now. Yeah, but it's not exactly fun yet. We're almost there. Hurry up. So here's the surprise. Whoa. Wow. Good afternoon. Hi. We'd like to ride two of your horses. Hmm, I think I can find two horses for you. All right, whoever's riding, follow me. Well, how about a horseback ride? All right, JJ. I'm going for a ride. I want to go horseback riding, too. Oh, it worked, Mikey. Cool. They're going to go pick out their own horses is cool. I hope they make up. Yeah, I hope they can make up in an hour ride. I think we're gonna make it work. Let's go for a walk. Oh, JJ and Mikey's idea wasn't so bad. Yeah, that's a great idea they came up with. I love it. This forest is so big. I'm very impressed. I thought one hour would be plenty, but I guess it's not enough. Huh, then we'll have to take the kids horseback riding too. Yeah, let's do it. I didn't expect it to be so much fun, did you, dear? Yeah. Are you still mad at me? Just a little bit. Hmm. Wow, we've come to the edge of the lake. It's a beautiful place. Oh, what's going on in there? No, leave us alone. Ma, oh, stop following us. We don't taste good at all. Save us. Get away from us. How could we leave our children alone for so long? This is no time to talk. Let's hurry and save them. Hurry up. 
Oh no, Mikey, it's a dead end. No way! There's nowhere else to go, we're trapped. <gasps> Look out! Oh no, how come? Are they going to eat us? There's no way through. What do we do now? Mom and Dad, save us. Holy turtles! Oh, what was that? Was that an arrow shot? Oh, someone destroyed the other one. That was one shot. Who saved us? Let's go take a look. Our parents saved us. <gasps> you guys okay? Thank you. Huh? You're our saviors. Yeah, your dad's a real lifesaver. Thanks, honey. You know, I wasn't quite right during the fight. I'm sorry. I was too hard on you, and I'm sorry. Huh, I love you, honey. And I love you. Oh! Thank you, guys. Wow, that's nice. Yay, now we're gonna be all right. I'm so glad we were able to get them to reconcile. Oh, tonight's meat is gonna be perfect. I'll flip it over here and here. Just a couple minutes and it's done. How are the kids, honey? Oh, the kids are fine. Having fun in the pool. Huh, water flying in your face, JJ. Huh, Mikey, don't splash. It's still coming my way. I'm not stopping, huh? Huh, all right. Hey, kids, the meat's almost done. All right, Mom. Oh, is it lunchtime already? Wow. Is everything ready? Yes. Cool, that was fast, Mom. I got everything ready for the table, so hurry up and eat. Oh, I'm really hungry already. Dad, this house is really cool. Wow, I'm glad to hear that. Let's go. Oh, I got hungry while I was swimming in the pool. JJ, don't go swimming after you oh, eat. Oh, this is a great lunch. Huh, Mom, he's got food on his mind. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, my boy. Bon appetit. It's so nice to be together in such a beautiful place. Yeah, I love it here. Yeah, I was lucky to get this place on the cheap. Huh? Do you both remember when we took you to the park to go horseback riding? Yeah, it's a wonderful trip. It was dangerous at one point. It was so much fun. You both saved us and we were together again. Huh, but I don't think it's worth repeating. Good memories. We'll have to go there again. Yeah. <coughs> Mom, Dad, is it really time to go to bed? Of course it's time. It's completely dark outside. It's late at night. It's bedtime for all the kids. Come on, I'm sleepy already. I'd like to play some more. Kids. Boys. I can't get the energy out of me. JJ, it's bedtime. Oh, all right. We'll play tomorrow, I promise you. I'm only going to go along with you this once. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, kids, don't fight. We're not fighting. All right, JJ. Mikey, my boy, sleep tight. Good night. Mommy and Daddy love you. Sweet. Good boy. Night. And now it's your turn, JJ. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Oh, JJ, you're our clever oldest son. Daddy and Mommy, good night. Good night to you. Sleep tight. JJ, know that we love not only Mikey, but you too. That's right. We have two wonderful sons. And it's time for us to go to bed, too. Okay, we're gonna go to bed, too. Huh, you and me, Mikey. We got the best parents in the world. Yes! The next day. Oh, Mom, I'm tired already. Oh, JJ, bear with us. We're almost home. There's not much left to go. JJ, where did all your energy from last night go? But my legs don't want to walk anymore. Really? How do you walk faster? How do you do that? Guys, keep up. I can only walk as fast as a snail. Hee hee hee. Oh, they're running and they're not shy. JJ, huh? Stop it already. I'm just tired, huh? Oh, what's that? Dad, let's go. Oh, what a girl. <laughs> Oh, and I'm married to such a cheapskate. I think I deserve better than that. Ugh. Ouch! What are you doing here? Honey, what's wrong? What do you mean, honey? You're my sweetheart. Do you think I'm blind? No! I saw the way you were looking at that girl. Uh, it's Mom, is everything okay? It's me? just someone I know. It's no big deal. Dad, what's wrong? Last Mom, was Are you two fighting wasn't... again? No, kids, don't worry. It's okay. I don't like this situation. Are you sure you're okay? It's just a bad joke from your dad. Oh, good! Glad there's not too much trouble. Let's go home now. Oh, it's been so peaceful. It's peaceful right now, JJ. I can't help but get a bad feeling. Here we are at home. JJ, here we are at the house. Yay, home sweet home. Yay, I'm getting a little tired already, too. We're finally here. I thought my legs were going to give up on me. Let's watch a movie together. Yes. Uh, you all sit down and watch without me. What? I have to go away for a while. It's urgent. Wait. It's really, really urgent. Uh, that sounds weird. How long will you be gone? Well, I think I'll be back by late afternoon. Dad. Don't worry about me. Love you all. Bye. Mm, Dad's very suspicious, don't you think? Yeah, that sounded kind of unnatural. I don't understand. Where did he go? We should follow him. I don't know. I think we really should follow him. Hmm. He refused to watch a movie with us. That's weird. We're going to be real spies. I think he'll be happy to have the whole family around. Yeah, it's worth it. Come on, let's go, my little spy kids. Yay, we're going on a spy trip. Yeah, let's go. Ha, here we go again. Oh, no, wait, we're going fast again. Let's hurry up. Nightmare. Three hours later. Hmm, I saw her go this way. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. But I think it's going to be okay. I'm supposed to have true love in my life, too. <laughs> oh, I heard someone. Oh, hello, beautiful girl. Oh, hello. This is the first time I've seen you in this beautiful park. My name is Speaker Man. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. And my name is Speaker Woman. Who is that? Mikey, keep your voice down. Okay, okay. And these are his important cases? Wait, maybe it's just a business meeting. I don't believe those words. I was with my sister and her kids that time. Oh, this changes things. And our meeting is fate. Wow, you're embarrassing me. Let's see each other all the time. 
<gasps> this is definitely not a business meeting. What's he doing? So do you agree? Ouch. Are you doing oh, this? what's going on? Oh, here? honey, what are you doing here? Are you his wife? But you're still the same scoundrel. Oh, uh, you got it all wrong. Do you have any shame? Mom! Dad, you guys just made up. Who is that aunt? Girl, he's a scoundrel and a cheat. Darling. And you don't talk to me at all. Oh, I can see why you mom was so mad at him last time. Children, we're getting out of here. As you've both seen, your father has treated me oh, terribly. Oh, but darling. I don't we need to support our mom. Dad, I'm very disappointed in you. Oh. Let's go. Okay, mom. Mom, wait for us. Kids. Thank you for understanding my choices. Oh! It's very hard for me to say this, but this relationship is over. Mom, we're with you and we support you. How could our father do this? Daddy did the wrong thing. I agree with you. I'm a little sad. One week later. JJ, I'm very sad without my dad. And mom is walking around all upset. We have to figure something out. Yeah, Mikey, you're right. And here comes mom, all upset. Kids, I've got some bad news for us. We can't cope without your dad. We've got a lot of utility debt. I don't know what we're going to do. <gasps> so what now? I'll probably look for a second job to pay off some of our debts. I think that's the only option right now. Maybe I was wrong to kick your father out, but that's in the past. Mom, don't worry, we'll get dad back. That would be nice. JJ, we need to figure something out. I don't want my mom working two jobs. We'll figure something out. But what? We don't even have money. Maybe we can make some money somewhere? That's not a bad idea, but I still have three more diamonds. Shall we spend it on a detective then? I'm sure he can help us find our father. Good idea. Just keep up with me. That's just great that you have diamonds. I'm sure they'll help us out. Two hours later. Guys, here we are. Post in the comments, will they find our dad? JJ! Look at what a beautiful building they have. Detective agency, I hope they can help us. They're our last hope of finding dad. Let's go inside. You're right, Mikey. They're our last hope. Wow, it's beautiful here. And these paintings, they're really something. JJ, ask that girl who can help us. Ask you, I'm shy. Excuse me, hello. Can you give us a hint? Good afternoon, guys. What can I do for you? We need a detective. That way. The detective's name is John Hall and he's free right now. We're very lucky. He's available right now. Detective John Hall, we definitely need to go through that door. What are we standing here for? Let's go to him. We need to find out where our father is. Good afternoon, detective. Hello, detective. What? What are the kids doing here? We have three diamonds, and we want to know where our father is now. Okay, I'll help you find your father. It'll cost exactly three diamonds, and I'll tell you how to get to him. Here are your diamonds, and let's find him quickly. All right. Now I'll run him through our database and find out his recent activities and where he might have gone. Mikey, I think we're gonna find the father. Yes, JJ, I think so too. You can tell by this detective that he is a professional and knows what to do. I'm sure he'll find our father. Guys, I found your father. He flew to another city. Now I will order you a plane ticket to this city. And there at the airport, you will be met by our man and will take you where you need to go. Mikey, did you hear that? Hurry, you have a flight coming up. Yeah, JJ, we gotta hurry. Come on, I'll call us a cab. Thank you so much. JJ, I called a cab. Let's go. I hope we can get Dad back. I don't want Mom to suffer. I don't want Mom to suffer either. Where's that cab? It should be here now. Don't worry, we still have time. Okay. And here's our cab! Finally, that cab's here. I thought we'd never get out of here. JJ, let's make a deal that you don't worry so much and calm down. Now get in the car and let's go. All right, Mikey. Can we get out of here already? Good afternoon. To the airport, please. And as soon as possible. All right, then hold on. Mikey, are we sure we're on time? We're doing it. I'm telling you to calm down. I thought we weren't gonna make the plane. I told you, we were making it, and you didn't believe me. Enjoy your flight and get some rest. We still have a lot of work to do. Yeah, Mikey, you're right. Three hours later. Stop here, 
please. You don't realize how tired I am, JJ. This neighborhood looks rich. Does our dad live here? Yeah, the detective said he lives, hmm. Right, this house, right here. What? It's a sports car. Our father must have gotten rich. Now we definitely won't have a debt problem. Let's hurry up and meet him. I think he will be very excited when he sees his kids. I think so too. We'll get daddy back. And everything will be like it was before. Even better. Wow, it's beautiful in here. I agree with you. I can't wait to see our dad and see his reaction. Do you think he'll be happy? Oh, here he is. We should get him. Daddy, daddy. We're here. He can't hear us. What? Does he still have kids? And he kept it from us the whole time? Here comes speaker woman. Mikey, what's wrong with you? Don't feel bad. Let's get out of here. I don't want to see this. Yeah, father, I didn't expect this from you. Mikey, stop, wait for me. I was very disappointed in our father. Let's go home. Mikey, don't feel bad, it's to be expected, but I don't understand why he left us. JJ, I'm upset not because he has another family, but because he asked and hurt our mom with it. So we'll help mom, maybe we'll find some rich guy for her. Wow, look, what an expensive and beautiful car is approaching us. You're right, Mikey. Hopefully the owner will be a man and he'll be available. You're right, JJ. Wow, even with personal security, he must be some kind of millionaire. Oh my God, no way, it's the TV man. JJ, this is the perfect guy for our mom. Let's go ask him if he wants to meet her. Excuse me, sir, do you have a wife? Uh, what? No, I do not. Why are you asking me that? Mikey, this is our chance. You're right, we mustn't miss him. Our mom's a TV woman. Wouldn't you like to meet her? Yeah, I don't mind. Especially since I've been looking for someone to meet for a while now. Mikey, did you hear that? We're doing it. Then let's show you where we live. Yeah, let's go. Oh, where are my boys? I'm so worried about them. I can't wait for them to come back. Who else is it? Maybe it's my kids? What? Kids? Who's that handsome guy with them? Hello, beautiful. Your kids said you're single now. I'd like to get to know you better. If it wasn't for Mikey and JJ, I'd never have found someone as perfect as you. You embarrass me. JJ, we made it. It's gonna be better than it was. Guys, if you enjoyed today's adventure, feel free to give it a like and write about it in the comments. Yeah, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on new adventures.